do you still read the newspaper? Nobody does that anymore. I like to keep up on local news. Huh. Most of these arrests are Cleveland. And the arresting officer is Joe Swanson. Can I help you, sir? I'm doing my mail route, Joe. Maybe you'd be more comfortable talking about it down at the station. It is more comfortable here. The police station. Come for the racial profiling. Stay for the comfort. Is that... is that you? Oh, yeah. A friend invited me to this charity ball. A friend? She's a hundred! Older women are cultured, worldly. I've got nothing to be defensive about. Her husband passed away. She appreciates my friendship. I don't like it. I need you to mow the lawn. It's out of control. I can't mow the lawn, Lois. The friends of distinction are out there, grazing in the grass. Baby. Oh, let me get in on that! Where'd they go? Cleveland? You okay in there? Is that a diamond-encrusted watch fob? This? Oh, yeah, I I've had this. Nobody's owned one of those for 80 years. What are you up to? You already did this. I'm not trying to show skepticism. My head is too heavy. I heard the doctor whisper to Lois, 3,000th percentile. Now, to start the mower, you grab this pull cord like so and give it a nice hard yank. <laughs> Can I change my grip? It's a more familiar motion. For the rest, you can just watch this how-to video on YouTube. What's going on, guys? I'm Corey, here to take your lawn mowing skills to the next lev. Did you know Corey got recruited by ISIS? He disappeared, and now there's this guy doing ISIS videos, and they think it's Corey. Ah, uh, salam alaikum, guys. This is Corey, here to talk about making a dirty bomb with stuff you can find in your kitchen. You can bring your friend over there to help you. Come on, Herbert. Rope this calf. We like to October in Zurich. Ah, yes, the best place to October. The secret, however, is to October in Zurich, but in September, to avoid the obnoxious Octobering crowds. Saving October for Paris, Novembering there, then Decembering in Palm Beach in November, and in December, Januarying, of course, as always, in Gestad. We December in London. You, madame, are a cream-faced loon. I don't believe you've met the Admiral. Well, he may be an Admiral, but he's certainly not admirable. Panty drop, swoon, oh! commercial. Is that medal a stretched out carnival penny? Thank you for noticing, Count. It means a lot from a man whose top hat looks suspiciously like an Amazon Echo with a cardboard brim. Why, what, what, what a preposterous notion! Alexa? No, don't say that! Maybe we could even help each other. Exactly! Two con men like us working together? We'll be set like a passive aggressive alarm clock. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the sun's been up for like an hour. No, 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 you don't have to get up. Let your wife do everything. Just keep sleeping. You're a good husband. I'm sure she doesn't fantasize about your contractor who's already downstairs working on... Well, I can't really figure out what he's working on. Oh, I know. Your wife. I'm Peter, sir. You're big for your age, ain't you, Peter? Yeah. Why, what's this? <gasps> it wasn't a trick. It was stuck to your neck. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I fall asleep on candy. The holy grail for guys like us. Who is she? Margaret Woolworth, Carrington, Von Schumacher, Chanel, Astor, Livingston, Comte de Saint-Exupéry, Mountbatten, Windsor, Armani, Roosevelt, Von Trapp, Wickenham, Hearst, Montgomery, Rothschild, Johnson & Johnson, Twillsworth, Dolce Gabbana, Von Zweiger, 2nd Montgomery, De La Roche, Geico, Vanderbilt, Lannister, Van Buren, Butterworth, How I Met Your Mother, Wrigley, Louise, Dreyfus, Ludwig, Morgan, Stanley, Dumont, Lamborghini, Forbes, Higby, Winthrop, Chanel, Remy Martin, Fitzwilliam, Kennedy, Motel 6, Fairchild, Brooke Pritzker, Davenport, Von Stolen, Monty Python, Ellisworth, Aston Martin, Haverbrook, Ziff, Lauder, Hilton, DuPont, Kincaid, Winslow, Coors, Oviat, Marlboro, Pembroke, Huffington, Bush, Mellon, Sinclair, Mellencamp, Starbucks, Van Dyke, 3rd, Montgomery, Marriott, Barrington, Chadsworth, Big League, Chew, Chesterfield, Kensington, Booth, Bishop, Longbottom, Nottingham, Meisterberger, Burgermeister, Tudor, Habsburg, Rockefeller, Onassis. <gasps> you mean the heir to the Woolworth, Carrington, Von Schumacher, Chanel, Aster, Livingston, Comte de Saint-Exupéry, Mountbatten, Windsor, Armani, Roosevelt, Von Trapp, Wickenham, Hearst, Montgomery, Rothschild, Johnson & Johnson, Twillsworth, Dolce Gabbana, Von Zweiger, 2nd Montgomery, De La Roche, Geico, Vanderbilt, Lannister, Van Buren, Butterworth, How I Met Your Mother, Wrigley, Louise, Dreyfus, Ludwig, Morgan, Stanley, Dumont, Lamborghini, Forbes, Higby, Winthrop, Chanel, Remy Martin, Fitzwilliam, Kennedy, Motel 6, Fairchild, Brooke, Pritzker, Davenport, Von Stolen, Monty Python, Ellisworth, Aston Martin, Haverbrook, Ziff, Lauder, Hilton, Dupont, Kincaid, Winslow, Coors, Oviat, Marlborough, Pembroke, Huffington, Bush, Mellon, Sinclair, Mellencamp, Starbucks, Van Dyke, 3rd Montgomery, Marriott, Barrington, Chadsworth, Big League, Chew, Chesterfield, Kensington, Booth, Bishop, Longbottom, Nottingham, Meisterberger, Burgermeister, Tudor, Habsburg, Rockefeller, Onassis, Fortune? Exactly. If we can charm her, we'll be set for life. No more scraping and scavenging like a laughing hyena. 
<laughs> I don't sound desperate, but I'm very desperate. <laughs> I'm not a very capable predator. <laughs> My family's back at the den waiting for me. <laughs> I think this is the day I starved to death. <laughs> Just kidding, I have no family. <laughs> Is that a Cats Protective League pin on your lapel? I like this party. Pussies. Cock. Cock. Get the hell out of my face, Brian. Quagmire? No. Quagmire! That's what I said. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear you because of the prosthetics. I've got no chance, have I? A tertiary character like me. You most certainly do not. I don't even think we're going to give you the dance you rehearsed. If you can help me wrap this up, if you know what I mean. I'll split the estate with you two. But unless you're prepared to kill her, get the hell out. Happy birthday, dear Margaret Woolworth, Comte de Saint Exupéry. I'm uh, just gonna hang here for a minute. It's time you did all the work and I goof off with Mr. Herbert. Like hell it is. Why are you being such a jerk, Dad? D -d 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 Dad! Well, he often said he wanted to explode all over me. Good Quahog evening. Oh, let's, uh, let's do that again. Good evening, Hog Quo, I'm Tucker Tom. Good after evening noon, Hog Tom, Quo, I'm Er Tuck. Quo, goodening noon, Tom Er Tuck, I'm Ning Ning after evening, Quo, Noon Hog. Our top story, Newport's wealthiest heiress, Margaret Woolworth, holy God, I'm not reading all that, was found dead in her home of an apparent heart attack. We're rich, Stewie! And no flip joke can take that away. Miss Woolworth, etc., etc., died owing $18 million, for which you are now liable. That's right. It was a Meg story. Now, are you? Right? <laughs> How are you still single? Leave me alone. It's all your fault that Jillian's gone. You let the fat man talk you into moving out. You let Jillian walk out the door. Stop getting pushed around. Be a man. If you want her, go get her. You are absolutely right. It is time for me to take charge of my own life. You're too late. I met someone else. Jillian, do you get the oxygen network? If I miss my Moesha, I get a bit crap. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. <laughs> All right, hit me with this. <laughs> Didn't work. What are you doing here? Loretta's mom was hankering for a snack, so we had to pick her up some kibbles and bits. Cleveland! I mean, cheez -its. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass. I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you going to act? Jeez, bringing that trash in here. This is my house. Excuse me, is your refrigerator running? Because if it is, it probably runs like you. Very homosexually. What? How, you want to dance? <laughs> Get suck, Yankee suck, Nick suck. <laughs> What's new, Ed? Well, Stewie, tonight we have a really big show. Okay, okay, and now a word from our sponsors. It takes a very steady hand. Don't touch the sides. <coughs> Butterfingers. Mr. Tucker? I'm coming. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, then, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stone. <laughs> 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 hey, your sister say anything about me? Umkin to kuni mirati. Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He, we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What's wrong with you? I say you, he did. Well, the hijacking of Flight 52 is over. The plane has safely landed in Cuba, and all Americans aboard are on their way home with the exception of one couple, a fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist's rendering of what they might look like. Jackie Chan, Cab 302. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. I, I liked you the way you were. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> Hello? What are you looking at, you... You infantile stupid? That's right. Damn you and such. You can... You burn in hell. You bastards come into our village and kill our fish, loot our water. I'm gonna send you back to hell where you belong. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Pig and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. Oh! Peter, how the hell is he going to recognize us? He doesn't even know who we are. Oh. Ha. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh! Listen, Peter, if you keep this up, something terrible's gonna happen. Yeah, something terrible all the way to the bank. Nice. <laughs> Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased-up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. See you next year. Hey, did you hear what happened to that dude from UMass? He got so drunk he fell off his hotel balcony. He's in a coma. Oh man, I want to party with him. You yeah. know it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A jackal. Jackal. It's a jackal. It looks like a jackal. 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 It's a jackal. Jackal. Time. It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? Go. I wonder where that fish did go. A fish, a fish, a fishy, oh! Boom Boom, did you do your exercises today? Yes, I did 20 laps, and I'm about to do 20 more. Oh, you... Yipe! Hungry eyes. I feel the magic between you and I. Ooh, I'm hungry for you, baby. <laughs> Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Lois, you can't spell love without L O. You can't spell is without I S. You can't spell silo without Lois. Last week's spelling tests, and it looks like Oinky set the curve again. Oh, dang, that is some smart pig. Good thing I copied off of Oinky. Ulysses S. Grant, you invite me to lunch, then show up an hour late, drunk? I was busy looking for your wife to give her the old... <laughs> Warm out today. Warm yesterday. Even warmer today. He's violating sea breeze. No, oh, no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating sea breeze. I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. Everybody stand back. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. But watch out, we got some bad roaches here. Hey, you're on our turf, man. Hey, man, I, I cut you, I cut you up so bad, you, you're gonna, you're gonna wish I no cut you up so bad. Peter! Oh, 
Oh, sorry. Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure? You don't know. I'll have my award now. Dee, I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. So, you wanna get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Well, you're doing a lot better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cleveland. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. The rooster goes... Dickory Gee! Where? Where does the rooster say that? The monkey goes... Macaque! No, 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 it does not! The elephant goes... Fwomp! Oh, yeah, kinda. <coughs> Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sick. That truck's coming up on us awful fast. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black... A black... Go ahead. A blanket. I'm just a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. I had our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh my god, Peter! What the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost! Ooh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Okay, nobody move! Oh my god, those guys in first class have guns! Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. Died! Not 30 minutes ago in the carriage on the way here. <laughs> Well, we all know how this goes. I'm doing it! Hey, Lois, I'd like you to meet our new friend... Jerome? Loose Lois? What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter, Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Ah! Ah! My ass! Man, this trip is dangerous. Couldn't we have just taken a bus? <laughs> no, it's a black guy. Oh, a message from Joe. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am going to go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea! You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! Ow! You're hurting me! Stop it! Stop it, Lois! No! I'm so sick of your crap! Why you always do this? Because 9-11 changed everything, Brian. 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! Ah! The pathway to enlightenment starts with an unfettered, focused mind. Look out! Ah! What are you doing? Oh. oh, I thought that dot on your head was from a sniper rifle. You think all those chickens had to buy tickets? I don't know, but I'm starving. 
What I wouldn't give right now for a big, juicy steak. How dare you? To us, cows are sacred. That's right. You are disrespecting our entire culture. And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons! <sighs> wow, that came in handy. Yeah. Now, now let's, let's get out of here. Let's see what their wieners look like. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get out of here. Peter, this spot is a sacred adornment. It's a portal. An opening through which all light, goodness, rejuvenation, joy, and ecstasy may enter the human form. A vagina? Get out! You know, it actually looks like the Native Americans have done all right for themselves. They do seem to have a lot of shops. And it looks like they have medical care as well. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I've done this several times today, and your husband just isn't responding. Well, have you tried this? Ma'am, this is a place of medicine. And their popular music is interesting. And here it is, the number one song for the 10,000th week in a row. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya, 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 hiya. Ireland was a much different place before the discovery of alcohol. Most experts believe it was something like this. Gentlemen, today we, Ireland's top scientists, have found a way to convert our entire population to pure energy. Oh, oh, it's a glorious day. Day. oh absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Hmm, whiskey. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> <Texas. laughs> All right, here's one. So, a horse walks into a bar and the bartender says, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, screw you. Whoa! What the hell's your problem? You're my problem, dude. That joke is offensive. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry that not everyone conforms to your preconceived notions of attractiveness. It's a joke, man. Oh, oh, yeah? Oh, it's a joke? How about this? Why are there so few black baseball players? Why? Because they're always stealing bases. Ha 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 ha! Whoa! Hey, now that is offensive. Yeah, what the hell, man? Hey, it's a joke, man. Yeah, but it's racist. Oh, the horse with a long face just told a racist joke, huh? Yeah, that's different. Oh, yeah, how's it different? Hey, why do you have so many drinks and you haven't touched any of them? Uh, hello, Einstein. Hooves. No freaking thumbs. Can't pick up a glass. Well, then why are you in a bar? Bite me, that's why, douchebag. Look, look, I think we all got off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, well, you got that right. We're sorry, okay? All right, me too. Look. I'm Mike, and this is Harry. Sarah Jessica Parker. This van has the latest in law enforcement technology. Watch. Suspect! Suspect! You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, let me try. Cleveland, don't! Minority suspect! Minority suspect! Danger! He's got a gun! Oh, ow, ow. Oh. Ah, dang it! Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois or Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Ow. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Just shut up. We don't need you in this town. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Peter, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, God, there's four. Please don't free the slaves. It's a bad idea. They'll try to get back at us, and that's our biggest fear. Allahu Akbar! Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give them the full 3%. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Choo, cheap, choo. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. Hey, Dale. I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. Dick. Okay, now, you have a good one. And this much tension when the slaves were freed. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're free to go. But we're cool, right? What? Say the word? Right now? Yeah. Together. 
Ready? You bet. <gasps> you could have just quit the show. We're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! Now return to Damn Nature, You Scary on BET. Damn that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. Was anybody gonna wake me up for the party? It's 6.30. I went down at noon. Now I'm gonna be up all night watching bad reality TV. We now return to Uber driver Ninja Warrior. First, he's got to swing on the gold chains across the cologne bath without dropping his e-cigarette. Next, he's got to pick up a rideshare customer. Now he's going to be late, but he's going to make it seem like the passenger's fault and not his. Where the hell have you been? I've been here, man. Maybe you press wrong button. I don't know. Now don't talk to me. I'm on four different phone calls. You're watching CBS, the loudest channel on TV. Previously on NCIS. Ah, son of a bitch! So, what kind of Navy crime do we have today? Yeah, it hurts! I'll show you. Follow me to our windowless high-tech room. I love you, Peter. Drive the van faster! Ah! He's headed toward the port of Washington, D.C., where our Navy is held! I'm browning out. See you on the other side. Please join me in silent prayer, and as we settle into the silence, I remind you that, in honor of Lent, today's coffee service will not include Chewy Chips Ahoy. <laughs> shh, 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 if we're quiet, you can hear every fifth word. Always, never, my friend, I just wish we were doing songs that weren't so hard to sing as a group. Peter, those questions are the easiest, most pandering things in the world. Oh, oh, Tim Hawks, Tim Hawks, Forrest Gump, I win. Ho? Oh? Ah, good. It's starting. Yeah, that's what you say. I can never figure out when the hell the studio logos end and the actual movie begins. All right, let's see what you got, Fox. Oh, I bet that's a sea monster. Oh, that's not the movie. That's... Yeah, I think I heard of them. Here we go. Movie! Well, now that seems intentionally misleading. All right, someone's coming to town. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, all right, period movie. Oh, not a period movie. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Can't wait to hear his story. Oh, come on! Three, two, one! Some animals give me boners! As you may or may not care, Family Guy is in its 17th season, and since Fox is now owned by Disney, which will someday be owned by Netflix, which will someday be owned by Pornhub, we have decided that Family Guy is ready for a reboot. Dead! 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 Keep coming! Dead! Give him a narrow entry point, make him come in single file. Dead! Dead! Anyway, I, I guess I'm trying to say 800 fourth graders. Why are we talking about killing kids? People are gonna hate this! Peter, do something else, quick! Uh, 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 uh what if I play some kick-ass music? You got to know when the whole kick ass. This is not kick ass. Wait, hang on, hang on. I'll find something. You're playing two songs at once. What even is this? I, I, I don't know. I'm just pressing buttons. I gotta admit, it does have a groove. Look, those people are even dancing to it. Every camera knows that the secret to surviving. Ah, great. I accidentally started Chris's birth video. <laughs> Ow! 
Hey, what's that song you're playing? I don't know, it's just random garbage from my computer. We now return to a 1980s movie you remember fondly, but now feels excruciatingly slow. All right, stripes! Oh, this was hilarious. All right, Bill Murray's driving a cab. Still driving a cab. Shot of the town. Going over a bridge. Traffic's neither heavy nor light. Get in the army! Dude, this car kicks ass, and I can watch Madagascar while I'm driving! What kind of music do you like, Gloria? Hippo hop! <laughs> Dude, those animals are so fucking funny, they make me want to merge without looking. Yeah, Rumsfeld! Hey, what's going on in that room? It's a focus group of Arby's executives watching us eat. Oh, no way! He ate People it! People will eat anything! 50 bucks says the fat girl eats a third big beef and cheddar. Who's on it? Okay. I'll take that. You got it. Oh, come on, Don't buddy. Don't do Here it. Here she comes. All right, kid. Take your time. Yeah! yeah! Damn it! Anyway, my brother Louie, he's, uh, he's a little off to the side, you know? The uh, Foofy. Uh, up to the knuckle. He's, uh, he's a backwards mechanic. He likes to play in the dirt. You mean gay? Oh, mama! What on, Peter? Mama, Louie's not gay. He's, he's creative. <laughs> I was sitting in the kitchen one day and I was itching to fill up my belly with the piping hot jelly of the best damn treat in the world. He's talking Pop-Tarts. And I saw a stick of butter and it almost made me shudder and scream like a baby girl. I don't want a giant penis or a rocket trip to Venus. I don't want to win the lottery. I just want to squat and gobble till I'm dizzy and I wobble in a butterfruit and Joe's hot dream. So I put butter on a Pop-Tart. It was so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. Everybody, come along with us. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so freaking good. Yeah, have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. With butter. But I have to say, I thought you'd drive a fancier car. What? Why? Well, aren't you the Peter Griffin of Peter Griffin Cadillac? No, that's another guy. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. And at Peter Griffin Cadillac, we believe in three things. Fair dealing, family, and friendship. I've lived in Quahog my whole life. I love it here. And you're going to love a Peter Griffin Cadillac. Scumbag. They're fighting again. Shh, if you're quiet, you can hear every fifth word. One would always, one would never, one would try to kill my animals, one would try to kill my animals, one would try to kill my Michelob Ultra. Now let this be a lesson to you kids. If you randomly stumble upon an amazing talent and then someone important sees it by wild coincidence, great things can happen without any hard work. I'm gonna go jump off the roof and see if I can fly. That's it, Chris. Pursue your dream. A singer, huh? You as good as the guys who sing Happy Birthday at Macaroni Grill? Oh, don't compare me. Look, they've been doing it for years. Imagine my Peter, the big singing star. <laughs> don't forget about our squares back at home. Don't you worry, Lois. No one has stronger marriages and more well-adjusted kids than rock stars. It's working! It's got to be easier than when I was delivering pizzas. All right, push. Push. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Just one more push. Here it is. Oh, it's half Hawaiian. I believe that's ours. You poor fool. Yes, I'm right. Okay, all right. You don't have to get all cat. Hey, hey, cat dog. Right? You're a cat dog. A cat dog. Cat dog. A life when it's another cat dog. Hey, where's it? Where, you know, where's all the poop go? When a cat, when a, in, a, in the cat dog, when the cat poops, did, what does it come out of the dog's mouth? And, and vice versa? Oh, God. Oh, that's. That's some kind of living hell. That's some, that's some kind of living hell, Brian. Okay, I gotta go. You gotta have a good time with Jenny. Still, we obviously learned to swear from some TV show. No, we didn't. The only show he watches is Caillou. Well, then that little French-Canadian weirdo is the potty mouth. 
I'm sure of it, and I'm willing to watch every single episode just to prove it. Caillou was upset. Why am I bald? I'm not a baby. I'm four. Are kids just bald in Canada? So Caillou decided to look himself up on Wikipedia. God, this is dull. Maybe I'm supposed to be a cancer survivor, and this show is very inspiring. But Caillou wasn't a cancer survivor. The show's creators just made a weird choice. Caillou's low-testosterone father again indulged Caillou's tantrum, clearly trying to raise a sociopath. It's okay, Caillou. I'll bake you a pie. He said, his body flooding with estrogen. Dad, why are we sitting on the washing machine? Because in Canada, men have vaginas. All right, Peter, it's all queued up. Just push this button. Okay, here we go. No, Peter, not that one! Audible.com presents Are You There, Vodka? It's me, Chelsea, as read by Chelsea Handler. Peter, that's the wrong track. Yeah, pretty good stuff, huh? Chapter one, stuff I can fit in my lady place. Up first, Eiffel Tower Lego sculpture. Yup. Peter, we gotta stop this. Soup thermos. Yup. It's locked. Yeah, awesome, huh? Wait, how come everyone's leaving? Brother brand all-in-one fax scanner color copier with phone attachment. Yup. Hi, you having a good night? I did. Just had a devil's three-way. You know, me and two guys. I think that's just gay sex. Why are you telling me all this? Isn't this taxi cab confessions? No, this is carpool karaoke. We're about to sing an Adele song. Oh, that's gay. Pull over by this hot guy and let me out. Then what happened? They populated the Earth. How? They had kids. Okay, but then what did they do? They had kids too. With who? They were fruitful. With who? Well, the girls with either their brothers or their fathers, and the boys with either their sisters or their mothers. That's disgusting. No, Meg? That's the Bible. Oh, and some animals give him boners. What the hell? Why would she do this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that next video? Oh, Daughtry. <laughs> I'm a mom, so I love this. Starting now. I just bought a giant room full of gold coins, and I'm going to dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. Ah! It's not a liquid. It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface. Ah! American Johnny. Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. Okay, do you have any disabilities, past injuries, physical anomalies? Uh, yeah, oh, oh, I didn't have gas for the first time until I was 30. <laughs> what the hell was that? Peter, Peter, maybe you shouldn't say anything bad about the network. Oh, why? What are they going to do? Cut our budget? <laughs> I'm going to go get a beer. Now, what are you going to do about it? You're just a train conductor who has a huge kicking foot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh! Where the hell am I? Oh, my God, I'm in the wrong Korea. That's it. Like your missiles? I'm about to go ballistic. But that's not how it really happened. That's it. Like your missiles, I'm about to go ballistic. Ow! A northern bird flew into my nuts. Ah, oh, go to commercial. Gentlemen, I give you Crystal Pepsi. All the great taste of regular Pepsi, but without that troublesome opacity. What, what, what if you're drinking a regular Pepsi and somebody's coming at you with a knife? Huh? You won't be able to see him past your Pepsi. And, 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 then, and then who's dead, huh? You! You! You're dead! Stabbed! Crystal Pepsi. Come on, guys, it's game time! Yeah, Patriots! All right, this is the greatest Sunday tradition ever. Except for getting all my cutaway gags ready for the week. Okay, my great uncle wears a ski hat all the time, Griffin, will be followed by Nick Nolte's handkerchief, followed by Japanese Abe Lincoln, and then Monkey Rabbi. Hey, where's the Monkey Rabbi? Here's your Torah. You'll be here on Tuesday at 9. Check in with Shirley. You're going to need me this week? 
Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe Friday. Uh, now, where are the gays? Over here. No, no, no. The really cartoony gays. Yoo-hoo! There you are. We're going to need you guys all week. You know what? You guys are right. It's time to travel, to learn, to experience new things. I've been letting opportunities pass me by ever since I was a kid. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. No, my mom says I shouldn't. <laughs> hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Oh, damn it. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a deaf dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. I know a number of our students have felt traumatized by the events of this week. And we take those concerns very seriously. Well, I'm done with my gum. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. Peter, shh. I'll take it. I'm done with this gum now. I don't want it. But I'm done with it. What is it? What is it, boy? The fat man dug a tunnel to go hang out with Cleveland Joe and Quagmire? We've got to tell someone. What is it, Stewie? <laughs> Daddy went to a Peta Cetera concert in Cleveland with Robin Tunney? Robin Tunney from The Mentalist slept with the entire Cleveland Browns team? Bad Moms 1 and 2 are available on most streaming platforms? Don't, don't do that, Mila. Not, not on this show. Peter, I'm so relieved that my mother's back with my dad. Yep, it all worked out. Only one thing left to do. Get drunk, go upstairs, and weird out the kids. Chris, are, are you awake? Chris, do you, do you, wanna, you wanna Tom Brady kiss? Chris, wake up. I, I wanna give my son a Tom Brady kiss. Uh, 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 um. Oh, hell yeah, I'm in. Now, you guys don't know nothing about staying up late. I used to pull all-nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets, too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? I'm kind of a jack-of-all-trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. Well, I found one rung lower. I'm a party bus guy now. That's got to be way better than when I drove a Fiat. Hey, you cut me off! What? Turn down your radio. I can't. My stomach's pressed up against the dial. You want to go? Get me 17 shoehorns and some canola oil and we'll go. Get back here. Chris, you're hogging up all the fans. Yeah, well, you're hogging up all the ugly. I hereby declare this public park and future homosexual meeting spot open. Unhand that woman, you bastard. <gasps> Adam. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mayor Guns for Toys West. But Cher recognizes your face. <gasps> and guard. Is the park open? Not yet. <laughs> you call that kissing a baby? That's how you kiss a baby. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some death to defy. Wow, this is just like what happened with Matthew Broderick, except no one's dead. Hey, Joe. Good morning, Peter. I'm here to revoke your driver's license. What? Why? We got reckless driving, disturbing the peace, plus the driver of one of those other cars was a virgin whose hymen was busted by the airbag, so rape. Okay, well, I guess you can take my license. Of course, it's all the way up here. Peter, knock right it off. Here, Joe. Give it to right me. Here. Give me the officer. damn license. Well, don't, don't you want it? This is yeah. in poor taste, yeah. Peter. You're starting yeah. to piss me off. Well, you You're is, starting yeah. to piss right. me off! Ah! Chris is still in there! Somebody save Chris! You know what? He 
He's earned that. Peter, enough! You've got to make this right. Now, that one seemed less earned. I know. It sounded like there was quite a ruckus going on over there last night. That Jeff seems like kind of a monster. Yeah, that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. Death to America and butter sauce. Don't boil me. I'm still alive. Iraq lobster. <laughs> Excuse me, how many BTUs does this grill have? Oh man, that puppy? More than you need, less than I want. I excuse me, do you have a small grocery cart I could put this boat-sized hunk of lumber in? Probably out in the parking lot. Can you tell me where I can find extension cords? Aisle 25. I was just there. 26. There is no 26. 15. Well, I have two questions. Will there be a stipend? Yes. Ah, and what is a stipend? It's a fee for being in the commercial. I'm in. How do you know what's inside you unless you test yourself? Don't do one push-up. Do 100. Don't run one mile. Run a marathon. Don't have one family. Have a second family all the way across the country. Don't just have a second family. Have a third family in Santa Fe with an alternative lifestyle. Don't spend any time with the first two families. Make a commitment to family number three and double down by announcing it at his war hero father's retirement party. Don't go to the funeral, because remember, you got two other families to deal with and a marathon to train for. Don't just let Kenneth walk out of your life. Take his life from him. Don't just go to jail. Go to death row by killing the two other families. Don't just let anyone have their closure by apologizing. Send a message that you're not afraid of hell. Nike. You may not know this, but our full name is Nigel. Sweet! All right! Spring break on the land, not the water! No, it's not sweet, it's a joke! This whole thing is a joke! Compared to the Navy, the Coast Guard is totally unprofessional and incompetent. Like that ancient Roman intern. This is Marcus. Today's his first day. He's going to be crucifying you now. He might want to use his hammer. Uh, sorry, I'm so bad at this. Relax, you're doing fine. Hey guys! Hitler! How's it going, Mr. Hitler? Oh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog Reich, and I'm wearing bacon pants. <laughs> so, how's the atomic bomb coming? It's coming, it's coming. There are some problems. We're having much better luck developing this impressive collection of 100 Luft balloons. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, I guess we'll just let you get back to work. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't suppose you boys have some uranium I could borrow? Oh, of course. Give him some uranium, Mean Joe Green. Hey, kid. Catch. Thanks, Mean Joe. He's not really mean at all. Nah, he's a nice guy. Stewie, I'm not really much of a fast food eater. Yeah? Can you read my mind? Can you tell what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking shut up and get a salad. I want some McNuggets. We'll get to you, Brent. I want a hamburger. No, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog. I want a milkshake. You'll get nothing and like it. Uh, hello? Yes, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you? Oh, hailing frequency's open, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna get uh, uh, two McChicken sandwiches and a Diet Coke and... Uh, uh, what do you want, Michael? A McDLT. No, I already told you they don't make those anymore. You know, sometimes it's a regional thing. You could ask. No McDonald's anywhere makes a McDLT anymore. I'd love a shamrock shake if I got any of those. It's September, Jonathan. Stewie, can I take this... Headband off. No, LeVar, you're blind. That's the only way you can see. I'm just saying they have all the ingredients for a McDeal. Just hang on, all right? There's a lot of us. There's a lot of... It's a big order. What time do they stop serving breakfast? It's three o'clock. Some of them serve breakfast all day. No, they serve breakfast all day! Do they have beer? Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States. Which would make you... A communist! Ah! Ah! Ow! Damn. Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? I'm not coming back in a week or ever. I've had it with you and I've had it with this whole damn government. Fine. 
I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, what was I worried about? Ah! 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 Oh, God! Ah! Ah! He's bleeding, man! He's bleeding, and nobody's doing anything about it! I'll tell you what the news of the world is! We're in a lot of trouble! Hey. Meg! What the hell are you doing in here? Shower time. Yeah, for me! Not, not for... What are you doing with that loofah? Don't worry about it. You told me not to worry about it! I should have been worried the whole time! This is why Sweden, Chris. Never Finland. I'll never doubt you again. Good. Now grab a yogurt that's way smaller than you knew they made yogurts. And you grab an orange juice that doesn't taste like orange juice, but like someone described the taste of orange juice to an alien. So what you're saying is, I've got to find my shaky leg poop. Exactly. Well, I... I have always wanted to be a singer-songwriter. Um, yeah, you, no, yeah, you can do that. You, you paused. Why, why did you pause? Uh, no reason. You did it again! I swear to God, I will throw myself right out that window! Okay, welcome to the Apple Tree Pub. I'm Stewie Griffin, and these are my six assistants. You know, I changed my mind. Kill yourself. Griffin, you're three hours late. Stop trying to be a clock. You ain't got the face for it. I've had enough of your nonsense. Here's Christoph Waltz to fire you in a weird accent. You're fired? <laughs> My God, I think I see the Fishmans. They're down on that ridge. We're ahead of them. Well, then let's keep moving. You guys, we can do this. We can beat them. Hey, you know, I heard when you drink at high altitude, it hits you even faster. Ooh, ooh. Ah! Party! I love you guys. You don't know how much you mean to me. You think you're better than me? Why can't you hit a curveball? I've done nothing with my life. Boy, this place sure has changed since Partucket Pat sold it. So this is where you'll be working, Mr. Griffin. Oh, and I should mention, employees are welcome to free Pawtucket Ale. We just ask that you don't drink during your shift. That won't be a problem, sir. Great. Well, I'll be right back with your ID badge. Mr. Griffin, what happened to your pants? Oh, look who's here, mister. I don't have time for your Little League games. Come here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Why do you close your eyes when we make love? <laughs> now, one thing that makes us more cultured than our European counterparts is high school football. And why are we standing here in the parking lot? Because sometimes your team loses and you have to beat up the ref. Uh, uh, what part of Edenville you from, huh? What part of Edenville you from? Oh, West Edenville. Oh, really? West Edenville? Do you know Bob Hanley? I'm Bob Hanley. No kidding. Bob, it's me, Peter Griffin. Oh, my God. How the hell are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. <laughs> Oh, hey, Brian. You want to come up? Come on up. Come on up. Come on. Right here. Jump up. Psst, psst, psst. Jump up. Come on. There's a spot right here. Come on up. Be a friend. Just jump up. I know you want to come up here. Jump the hell up here, you dope.
I demand that you jump up here and be a companion. Be a companion! Get up here! Mommy? All right, now I'm gonna scratch your forehead for a while, so don't seem like you like it at first and suddenly bite my hand for no reason. Ow! That's it! I'm gonna go online and buy you a $70 toy you'll hate! Very good, Stewie. You grunt like a Hungarian lesbian. Oh, thanks, Dimitri. And uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. And you know, Glenn, after you moved away, Buttercup had kittens. <gasps> what? That's right. You're a grandfather. <coughs> My God. This is more pussy than even I can handle. Is he gonna say giggity? Should I say giggity? Are other people allowed to say giggity? Giggity. What? Nothing is stupid. Holy crap! We 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 gotta, gotta get out of here. Aw, oh, man, the library. White Fang, this is for ruining my eighth grade summer. <laughs> They ruined my summer, too. Oh, damn it! It's locked! Oh, my God! Somebody must have locked us in! We're gonna die in here! Sorry, guys. Somebody emailed me a video of a sheep screaming. Okay, now, if you're gonna defeat your sister in the ring, you gotta get to the root of your fears. We gotta go back to your childhood, so I'm gonna hypnotize you. Okay, go back. Now we need to go back in time. My jeans are husky. Okay, further. Further. A little further. Now open your eyes and tell me what you see. I see the six stations of the Lord's Order and they will all burn. Peter, face it. Without Quagmire, we're boring. Oh, come on. That ain't true. Yes, it is. He had all the fun ideas. Remember, he even took me parasailing. This is awesome! It's like I'm flying! Woo I've never felt so alive! Oh, if only I had a pair of legs. All right! It was the fish part of me that wanted him. There you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. Maybe that one. I, I have no idea what you're pointing at, Joe. You gotta meet us halfway. Look, guys, I don't want to be a burden to anyone. You go ahead and live your lives. I'll be fine. We can't just leave you, Joe. So before we go, I'm gonna put the remote in your mouth. Here's a can of chili. And the opener we'll put in your mouth. And here's a magazine I thought you might like to read. I'm gonna put it in your mouth. Good <laughs> friend, Peter. And you probably don't want any reminders of Bonnie around the house, so I cleared out all of her underwear. Oh, come on. This will change your mind. Oh, my God! Quick, do something! It's not working! Get rid of it! Get your family out of that house! If they don't leave, they'll die! Round up your family and get out, or you're all gonna be sorry! Get out, now! <gasps> See, kids, I told you we'd make friends here. I guess me getting transferred by the Xerox Corporation wasn't the worst thing after all. Well, we made it. East Bola. All right, let's find our prince and get my money back. Get down! On the ground! Yeah. This is unacceptable! I demand to speak to Anthony Anderson! Okay, hold on. Shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I answer this call. Hello? Yes, this is Peter Griffin. Yes, I did call you about the eight-piece lawn croquet set. Now, it says weathered. Just how weathered is it? Yeah, go ahead and send me a pic. That'd be very helpful. Sir, shoot me if you must, but it is imperative that I look at these pictures. <laughs> 
Peter, we have a hamper. Stop throwing your dirty clothes in the toilet. Peter? Peter, where are you? What's all this? Oh, hey, Lois. Welcome to the peak pad, where the dancing's hot, the drinks are hot, everything's just freaking hot. What have you done to the attic? Well, when I slept up here the other night, I realized what a great space it is. So I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't... I didn't mean... No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone. And before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Ah, Halloween candy! Peter, get out of the pantry! Oh, I can't believe I just kissed my friend's wife. I'm a bigger scumbag than Spock. I heard that there was a Romulan ship spotted in our sector, which means... Hey! Hey! Chadley wants to have a play date here at my house! Well, that's great. No, it's not! I can't let him see this dump! Come on, Stewie. Chadley should like you for who you are. Besides, this place isn't so bad. Brian, Chadley's parents each have their own bathroom. I've seen the fat man pee through Lois's legs while she's sitting on the toilet. What I've got to do is find a spectacular house that I can pretend is mine to impress Chadley. Well, why don't you just use Babs and Carters? I can't. They're having an eyes-wide-shut party all weekend. I can't find my wiener with this mask. All right, time out. Let's, let's all just find our wieners and then put the masks back on. Huh. I know I left the ring right here. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, Mo. Oh my god, this can't be happening! Chris, that was a diamond ring! Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then POW! Okay, yeah, yeah, we just, we just gotta force Chris to poop, that's all. Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Good idea. And luckily, I'm great at connecting with that generation. Like when I went on that camp out with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop! It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> That's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! <gasps> <gasps> yeah, they're going to die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no! Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah, they, uh, they helped me to, um, uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes-open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. Hey, ask me why they call me a box turtle. Mom, 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 mom. Hey, so how'd it go last night? Well, let's just say I got asked to come back tonight. You're kidding, it actually went over well? I figured you'd be terrible. Why would you think that? Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you're doing there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! Thanks for the ride along. I liked when you sentenced those two girls to kiss each other. Yeah, all girls are lesbians when you point a gun at them. Boy, it's been great spending time with you, son. It's been great spending time with you, too. Dad. Oh, this'll be fun. Let's see how long it takes them to get Gumby over there into the car. Yeah, that's our neighbor, Peter Griffin. That's the guy who emailed me? Huh. 
No wonder it was all caps with tons of typos. He's a waterhead, right? Yeah, he's a mess. Look at his ugly kids. Pathetic. Ugh, he's not fitting. Just put some of them in the back like skis. All right, ladies, let's pick teams for dodgeball. Connie, would you like to be a captain? Sure. I pick everyone except Meg. Fair enough. Go! <laughs> Hey, where's everybody going? That's not how we end this class. Good job today. Good job today. Great class. Nice hustle. Hey, everybody, guess what I am. Oh, the end result of a drunken backseat grope fest and a broken prophylactic. Well, this is boring. Let's go see what Meg is up to. Hello, Meg. Mom, Dad, am I ugly? Oh, of course not, sweetie. Yeah, where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig, uh, Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. <laughs> oh, there, there. Let me dry those tears. Oh, yes, yes, your anguish sustains me. Wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! Hey, Meg, will you hold this for Daddy? Okay. Why? Uh, it's a present. It's a thanks for being such a sweetie watermelon. So you'll hang on to that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> this is weird. Am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> Dad, don't I look great? Oh, Meg, honey, I always thought you were beautiful just to wake <laughs> oh, 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 God. Couldn't do that with a straight face. <laughs> oh, 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 welcome to the family, sweetheart. Chris, go burn all Meg's old pictures. I'm sick of Lois's anger management techniques, Brian. They're not working. Well, what about the writing angry letters and not sending them exercise? Oh, geez, I wasn't supposed to send those. Hey, look, I got a letter from Dad. Dear Meg, for the first four years of your life, I thought you were a house cat. Meg, I need you to babysit Stewie tomorrow afternoon. Mom, you know I go to the mall on Saturdays. I mean, I do have a life. Hey, what time is it? We're going to miss the movie. Yeah, let's go, everyone. <laughs> hey. Hey! Shh. Meg, honey, I did all your laundry. Oh my god, what is that smell? It's my poop bucket. What the hell? I'm used to going to the bathroom in my room. That's disgusting! No, you use the toilet here like everyone else. No. Ah, oh, god, it smells horrible. Well, can you at least empty it each time you use it? I like to fill it up. I'm not making a million trips. Oh my god, are you using my shirts as toilet paper? Yeah. And I think I might need some right now. Get out now or stay and get weird. Your call, warden. Come on, kids, we've been through worse. Meg, you, you remember when you found out your gynecologist never finished med school? All right, Meg, let's take a look at that vagina. Oh, I know just how you feel, pumpkin. I've had my share of disappointments, too. It's a girl. C can, you, can you check again? And I know this isn't the first time I've embarrassed you. And if you add the measure of the angles of a right triangle, the sum of... Hey, Meg, you mind cleaning out the shower next time you shave your legs? It's like a carpet in there. Your dog wrote an insensitive tweet. You can't eat here. Uh-oh, Meg. It's a sensitivity mob. It was just a joke. There's no such thing as jokes anymore. Yeah, we live in a post-joke world. Chris, maybe we should just eat outside? No, Meg, we're eating here. I'd like to see you try.
It was a joke. Oh, look, Meg. It's your little baby booties. Oh, and your little bronze hat. And your tail. My what? Nothing. Oh, you hear that, Meg? Guys can marry other guys now. So, um, oh, this is awkward, but, uh, I mean, if they can do that, that's pretty much it for you, isn't it? I mean, you might as well pack it in. Game over. So, are you ready? For what? For the fun we're gonna have, Brian. We're gonna have fun tonight. Good, old, fashioned, all American fun. Listen, Meg, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you here. I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable. Oh, just relax. We're gonna be here for a while. Well, I don't know if you... Wait, what? We're gonna be here for a while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. Brian, you're acting weird. Oh, come on. That one doesn't even have an H in it. I just want to kill myself. I'm going upstairs right now and eat a whole bowl of peanuts. I'm allergic to peanuts. You don't know anything about me. Who was that guy? Your family has something they'd like to say to you. Brian, I know I don't speak up much and it's... It's really hard for me to talk about my feelings, but... W why don't we start with someone more interesting, Peter? That's where I go to make out with my boyfriend, Darren Mitchell Stork. Yep, he's, uh, he's the chairman of the soccer ball team. Well, all right. Make sure you practice safe sex, Meg. <laughs> you little liar! Oh, my God. God, that's Meg Griffin. She just got out of prison. Hey, Meg, what'd they put you in jail for? Being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, what happened? Did you get out early for fat behavior? <laughs> <laughs> nice tattoo. Did you get your butt hair braided too while you were in there? <laughs> <laughs> what'd you do, carve a gun out of soap and then not wash with it? Haha, <laughs> P.U. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Meg, are you gonna take those soda cans to the Shaw Skank Redemption Center? <laughs> Please go out with me. I'm just trying to make Neil jealous. I promise I'll pay and everything. Yeah, uh, that sounds cool, but I'm gonna be in the hospital that night. Now remember, Chris, we have to work together so that our steps. <laughs> You kids are the most important thing in our lives. Oh my god, we forgot Meg. Don't worry about Meg. She's got everything she needs in her room. Am I talking to myself up there? Oh my god, Stewie, just shut up and go to bed! Do you know what I do, Meg? I spit in your mouth while you sleep. Um... Hi, can I help you? Yeah, some company hired me to stand next to you all day so you'd look better by comparison. That's ridiculous, I don't hey, need- Hey Meg, do you get less ugly? Yeah! Dear diary, Kevin is so hot. Today, he was out in the yard raking leaves. <laughs> God, I wish he'd throw me into that pile of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's everybody? Oh my God, my diary! I hate you all! <laughs> Keep going. Hey, where's Meg? What is it, sir? That's what we call a manatee, boys. Or in nautical slang, the sea cow. Oh, this is gonna be great! We'll stay up late, trade stories. <gasps> Ooh, let's watch the video of my ballet recital. Here it is! <gasps> Sunshine Bear! Wait! <laughs> Peter, enough with the storytelling. We gotta get out of here. They're gonna kill Meg. Oh, yeah? Over Meg's dead body.
So, is, uh, is this like the part where you guys have your way with me? What? You know, where I'm like helpless and you guys take turns, you know? Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no! What'd she say? She asked if we were gonna have our way with her. Ew! No, seriously, I won't scream or anything. No! No, I, I, no, no sale. Come on! I'm pretty! Ah! 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 Are you okay? Yeah, I was so scared. Peter, we've got to do something. If Meg doesn't get into college, who knows what kind of future she'll have. You ain't getting this meat. This is my meat. Shut up. I found this meat. So we're all going to have to pitch in and help your father out now that he's lost his sight. Nobody took care of me when I lost my arms and legs and was struck blind, deaf, and dumb. Hey, hey, Meg, they got a Happy Day spoof in here, but they call it Crappy Days. <laughs> uh, all right, you know what? If you're not going to laugh, then I'm not going to keep you company. So you're a, you're a flag girl. That's great, Meg. Yes, yes. Now you can be somewhere else when the boys don't call. <laughs> Come on, Meg. The competition is this Sunday, and you're not even close to ready. Maybe if you loosen my chains? We tried that, remember, honey? You can't be trusted. I'm practically a cheerleader. Oh, Meg, that's wonderful. Isn't that wonderful, Peter? Hey, way to go, Stewie. Meg, you should ask him out. I mean, you're the only one of us who's ever had a real boyfriend. I'm back. I brought another picnic. You're such a good listener. You're not like the other boys. You're so good with animals. Wow, this place is awesome. I know. Hey, you want to dance around like morons to loud music? I'll be right back. I've been holding in a dump since America. Griffin Residence. Hi, Dad. It's me. Just wanted you to know I got here safe. And sound? Yes, Dad. And sound. Oh, good. The sound is what concerns me. Oh, it's so amazing here, Dad. Yeah. You should see it. The uh -huh. apartment we're staying in is huge uh -huh. and has an incredible view uh -huh. of... <gasps> Dad, something's going on. Some men just broke in. <gasps> oh, my God! They've got Ruth! <gasps> and now I think they're coming after me. All right, Meg. I need you to listen to me very carefully. Panic. Pay no attention to detail. Let your mind race. Take short, rapid breaths. Then hide under the bed, but leave two of your feet sticking out. Oh my god, Dad. Are they gonna take me? I'm so scared. <gasps> Meg? Meg? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I have a very particular lack of skills. I will never be able to find you. But what I do have is two dollars and a Casio wristwatch. You can have one of them. Dracar Noir. These guys are serious. Lois, Meg's dead! Hey, give me my purse, you psycho! Let's see, makeup, chewing gum, the picture of Meg in a two-piece swimsuit. Oh! God, I pray this is not my first memory. Mom, can we go get some food? Oh my God, there's Malcolm in middle! I'm not a boy! Yes, you are. What time do you suppose it is, Brian? I don't know, about 3.30. Watch the sidewalk. My God, is that... Meg? 36D, Brian. And you know what's amazing? In this universe, she's still one of the ugly ones. Looks like your fans are back, Mom. Well, I think this one's all yours. One's an innie and one's an Audi. Hear that, Neil? I don't like you, and I never will. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Meg. I guess beggars can be choosers. You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any. How do these jeans look? Ah! Hey, guys. Is everyone on the phone? Oh, I gotta go. Something's in the oven. I lost a shoe. No, no, don't leave me on the phone with her. Stewie? Hey, how school? Hi, Stewie. Listen, I am swamped, but, uh, Mom has kept me up to date on everything you're doing, and I think it's just great. Hanging up now. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's a chick! Ay, Dios mío, una chick! I don't feel anything! <laughs> now she knows how I felt when I was at her piano recital. <laughs> <laughs> now no, you're doing fine, man. Excuse me, girls. We're about to start roller derby in a minute. Wait, wait. You, what's your name? Me? May Griffin. Would you mind standing up? Whoa, what, what are you doing? My God, the magic ratio. What's that? It means your ankles, calves, and thighs are all the same thickness. How would you like to try out for the roller derby team? Really? Do it, Meg. Yeah, Meg, you should totally do it. Meg's talking to a boy! Okay, sure. What the heck? Here, take my card. I am a registered sex offender. You flip it over. Important. See other side. Give me that. I'm the roller derby coach. See at tryouts. I can't believe my stupid parents are gonna spend five days following stupid old kiss around. It's painful. Not half as painful as a tire iron upside your head. What? I'll miss you. It's eerie, isn't it? Like looking into the future. My daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. <laughs> and besides, he's been great with the kids. I mean, Chris is doing better in school, and Meg even went on a date with the announcer from the Super Friends. Meanwhile, under Meg Griffin's bra... How about a movie? I don't go out with dudes. Uh, Peter, I think we forgot Meg. Uh, all right, next up, does everyone have a lab partner? I don't. Me neither. She can be my partner. Sarah, that's very irresponsible. Meg is awful. I'm practically a cheerleader. Oh, Meg, that's wonderful. Isn't that wonderful, Peter? Hey, way to go, Stuart. Peter, could you please pass the potato? <laughs> ah, damn it, Meg! <laughs> ah, sorry, Peter. I can't make it tonight. I have a date. <laughs> Dad! Dad, I can't go through the vent. Yeah, she's right. We need to grease her up so she doesn't get stuck. Everybody spit on Meg! Stop! Stop! You got... Ah! Stop! Stop! Okay, I... You know, I don't care what you guys think. All my new lesbian friends accept me. And that's all that matters. Meg, you're my daughter. I would accept you if you were gay or blind or retarded, but you're not. Wow, this looks just like my room at home. Yeah, except for all the trophies and pictures of friends. Dad! What is it? What's going on? I heard a noise. Is somebody downstairs? Ah! Oh, God, Meg, you startled me. I'm sorry. Well, well, it appears your fates have conspired in our favor, eh, Meg? Look, stay away from me, Neil. Just because we're working together does not mean I have to like you. Give it to me! What's that? Give it to me, Neil. Give it to me! Give it to me, Neil! Yeah, that'll work just fine. Dad, how do you know Neil will show up? Don't worry, Meg. I sent him an invitation he couldn't refuse. Strange. These conventions usually have Segway parking. Hello? Am I too late for the Q&A? Yeah, but you're just in time for the T&A. Mrs. Griffin, what, what are you... Shh, 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 shh. You can call me Mystique. Mrs. Griffin, this is wrong. Well, 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 look at this, Meg. Your boyfriend is violating both your contract and my wife. Uh, Meg, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, Mrs. Griffin was just... How oh, you're bending it? I don't care. You've nullified the contract. I'm free! <laughs> free? I don't understand, Meg. You don't want to be my girlfriend? Well, I thought I did, but I guess I was just jealous. I see. Well, Meg, I want you to be with me because you want to be with me, not because you have to. Thank you, Neil. Cecilia, it's the gold man. How about we fire up the old Segway and find a nice, quiet field to do long division in? I, I mean, a nice, quiet field in which to do long division, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Okay, I'm on my way. Say, Meg, looking sharp. You want to go out after the game tonight? Neil, I'm a flag girl now. I'm way too cool to be seen with you. <laughs> really? Not even if I smoke this corn cob pipe? Again? Thanks for doing my book report, Neil. And I didn't even have to change the handwriting because you write like a girl. You should see me throw. Listen, Meg, would you want to go to a movie sometime? You know what? I'd like that. 
it's a date. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Homek just got out. I'm gonna go lick all their bowls. Hey, Neil. Oh, he hey, Chris. You sure are spending a lot of time with my sister lately. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd think that fish are ghosts. And I'd also think you're putting the moves on Meg. <sighs> Listen, Chris, you're my friend, so I have to confess. My sitting with you at lunch was part of a carefully laid out plan to get close to your sister. What? Like, I know it sounds terrible, but, but still, we've had some good times together. We even got Sean Penn to dress up as my dad. Go away! I never want to talk to you again! I don't think so. Neil, I'm a little out of your league. Besides, I'm going with Lando. Really? Because my underground sources have informed me that Lando's taking Connie Demigo. What? What do you think of that, Neil? Daddy bought you a girlfriend. Excuse me, if anybody's interested, I already have a girlfriend. There's no way- Wait, what? You ready to go, honey? You rejected me too many times, Meg. I couldn't wait for you forever. Besides, Cecilia thinks my psoriasis is sexy. I can't believe he's over me. You know, this is nice. It's actually the first time I've been on a date since I got the nickname Gutterball. It is nice. Here, hold still. Make a wish. What did you wish for? This. You used me just so you could date my sister! Oh my god! Chris? I'm so sorry! What have I done? Aw, oh, crap. What we need is a picture for the front page. Well, hold on a second. I gotta rinse my retainer. I'm looking for something tasteful like the Malaysia spread in last month's Vanity Fair. That was so sweet. It was wicked awesome. Finally, we go to Meg Griffin for a special Channel 5 junior anchor segment on The Moon. Meg? The Moon. There's a reason no one goes there. It's cold. And it's ugly. And its surface is plagued with deep craters and jagged peaks. <gasps> oh, wait! That's not the moon! It's Neil Goldman's face. Recently, many of you saw me kissing this freak of nature. But if I didn't think I was seconds away from death, I would have never done it. I mean, who in their right mind would? Well, I went to the streets to find out. Would you kiss this guy? Ugh, no. No way! No. 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 Oh, God, no. What's the matter with you? Oh. It's official. Neil Goldman is unkissable. Hear that, Neil? I don't like you, and I never will. Back to you, Tom. You, you. Neil, would you? I would be honored. Thanks. Look, Neil, I need an activity to get into Brown, and the paper is my last hope. Can I be a reporter? I don't know, Meg. You never seem to be that interested in journalism, or journalists, such as myself. <sighs> you know, I never realized how smooth the skin between your acne is. <gasps> okay, I'll give you a shot. I've never been able to get an interview with the mayor of Quahog. You get it, and I'll make you a reporter. You got it. Run, little rabbit, run. But someday our two worlds will be one. I sure hope my face clears up by then. Once Chris gets up there, my friend in the AV department will take care of everything. Okay, Meg, remember our deal. I do this for you, and I have your permission to think about you later tonight when I'm in the tub. Fine, Neil. Awesome. I might even go lefty tonight. Stranger in the tub. Try to move in on my woman, will you, Tom Tucker? Well, no one crosses Neil Goldman and gets away with it. <laughs> I added a little something to your coffee that I don't think you're gonna like. Here's your coffee, Mr. Tucker. What the hell is in this? Sweet and low. That's for trying to steal my woman. Go back and bring it to me with urine in it like I asked. Yeah. What I'm about to show you is a fight scene from Star Trek Season 1, Episode 18. And as a bonus, I'm going to identify when it's Shatner and when it's his stunt double, Fred Lubins. Let's watch. That's Shatner, of course. That's Lubins. That's Shatner. That's Lubins. That's Shatner. That's Lubins. Now that's Shatner. But when I freeze frame, you can clearly see Lubins' coffee cup sitting on that rock. He is the biggest dork on the planet. Oh, totally. And so, because of his rough and tumble style of command, Captain Kirk is clearly superior to Jean-Luc Picard. 
Any questions, man? No! Leave me alone! Thank you, Neil, for that incredibly irrelevant presentation. We all know Captain Picard is the superior officer. Hey, Chewbacca! Pass over, stupid, and I'm gonna prove it by breaking your nose! Hey, why don't you pick on someone your own religion who can fight for themselves? And you're not so tough! You frequently opt out of swim class because of your gross microcephalic penis! It's not gross. It's special. I can use it to reset my cable box. Ah. Hey, Chris. I noticed you were sitting alone. You mind if I join you? Sure, we both have hats. Makes sense. Ah, oh, thanks. Hey, can you check my back for kick me signs? Oh, yeah, you got a couple. <laughs> this one says you're a dirty kick. That doesn't say kick, but thanks. I'll keep that one for my lawsuit. Boys, I got a new home gym. Why are you telling us that? Just letting people know. Don't want anyone to get freaked out by the transformation. I gotta say, it feels kind of weird having someone join me for lunch. Well, it's only natural, Chris. You and I are social exiles. We're the Khaleesi and Jorah Mormont of this school. Sure, I'll agree to keep the conversation going. Well, time to break out my terrible Jewish bag lunch. Let's see. Smoked whitefish, herring and cream sauce, smoked sable, that's a different kind of whitefish, and for dessert, the only bad cookie in the world. Hey, what's it like buying food from school? It's good. I know everyone back there, so they let me drink the corn water. Boy, it's so great having someone I can talk to. I feel the same way, Chris. I think you and I could get along very nicely. Hi, Meg. You busy Saturday night? Neil, you ask me out like once a day, and I always give you the same answer. No! God, I don't think I could have been any clearer the last time I turned him down. Oh my God, we're gonna die. There's so much of life I haven't experienced. I never even got the chance to be some drunk college guy's last resort. My years of expensive orthodontic work will be a total waste. I never even had my first kiss. It's not too late, Meg. I'm here for you. Daddy, I'm just saying. Find someone really smart to take the SAT for you in exchange for money. Did someone say Jewish? Oh, hey, Neil. Listen, is there any chance you'd be willing to take the SAT for me this weekend? Sorry, Meg, I'm swamped. I'm taking my body into the shop. I don't know what you've been doing to this thing, Neil. But you see this gunk? That ain't supposed to be there. Well, just do whatever you can. All right, I'm gonna go eat a sandwich with one hand and fill out the invoice with the other. Hello. Hi, name please. Neil Goldman. Goldman, Goldman. Sorry, no Neil Goldman. Oh, I beg your pardon. I meant to say Chris Griffin. Griffin, Griffin. Oh, here it is. Says you're supposed to be an usher. Well, you'll need this. Name please. Chris Griffin. Griffin, Griffin. Hmm. I'm sorry, sir. Chris Griffin has already checked in. Well, that's impossible! <laughs> Holy moly, Marcy Miller! She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her? Chris, no one talks to each other anymore. If you want to get a girl's attention, you text her a picture of your penis. What? Really? Are, are you sure? Oh, yeah. People who send their daughters to public high schools are basically asking for this. Well, I did just get this new phone from my dad. We now go to junior anchor Neil Goldman with exclusive Channel 5 footage from today's exciting scene. Thank you, Diane. There may have been some sort of commotion on the rooftop, but the real story was inside the mouths of Meg Griffin and Neil Goldman, where a meeting of the tongues, a summit of saliva, established a new world order of love. I can't dissect this pig, Mr. Kingman. It's against my religion. Believe me, Neil, it's no thrill for the pig to touch a Jew either. Okay. I'm glad Neil's over me anyway. I'm with Jake now. Right, Jake? Maybe someday we'll get married and you can go up on me. Neil, I want to be your girlfriend. What? I was wrong to drive you away. We belong together. Of course, I'm understandably skeptical of your newfound affection for me. You still got that contract our dads drew up? Give me that. You want to hook up? Buy me something! Well, 
Well, Chris, looks like another day of nobody joining us for lunch. Yeah, we never should have let that blind girl touch our faces. Hello, lover. Neil, what are you doing? I'm not your lover. I don't even like you. Meg, I strongly suggest you hold my hand, lest you look like a slut. Listen, you freak. Tell these people that there's nothing going on between us. Oh, don't be afraid of the fire, Meg. I won't let you burn. <laughs> Al, why haven't I leaped? Uh, Ziggy says you can't leap until she loves you back. Don't worry, I'll get her. Uh, before I touch anything, is this a nut-free counter? I don't know. My dad's might have been on there this morning. Oh, hey, Meg. I saw you stomp that pigeon today with your bare foot. Pretty powerful stuff. Thanks. I don't like losing any part of my lunch. Look, I'd love to stay and talk, Neil, but I have homework and there was no toilet paper in the girls' bathroom. Well, while you fresh it up, maybe I could help you get a head start on that homework. You do that? Wow, that'd be great. Wait, Neil, I thought you and I were going to go find unlocked cars and pretend we're driving them. Sorry, Chris. Booty calls. The best way to disarm a bully is to befriend him. Watch and learn. Hey, what's up, my main man? Listen, if you ever need the scoop on the local babe scene, just ask. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Awesome. Let's watch it one more time in super slow-mo. This is where we cease to be Meg and Neil and begin life anew as Meal. That sounds pretty good to me. Traffic on 146 is backed up all the way to Mineral Springs. What do you want, Neil? And why are you playing the news? Oh, it's an old boombox. I don't own any cassettes, so I just have to play whatever's on the radio. Shouldn't you be out with Meg? Look, Chris, I I'm sorry I lied to you, but I'd still like to be friends. And I hope... I'm sorry, I have to put the boombox down. The D batteries make it very heavy. Neil, there you are. What the hell is your problem? I finally give you a shot and you abandon me in a movie theater? I'm sorry, Meg, but my friendship with Chris is more important. You're a jerk, Neil. So what do you say, Chris? Can we hang out again? Yeah, I'd like that, Neil. Great. See you tomorrow. This is because I'm drunk. Move out, Irish trash. Great. Hey, Meg, what's got four arms, four legs, and one set of lips? You and me at the winter snowball. <laughs> Look, Neil, I don't... Oh, my God. Hey, Chris, guess who I just scored as my date to the homecoming dance? Vice Principal McGuire. Really? Yeah, her husband just died of ALS, so she is ready to get at it. Hey there, strong guy. Not now, Brenda. She says I have the body of a 50-year-old before it gets ALS. So who are you going to go with? I was thinking of asking Kara Morris. Why don't you ask her now? Her locker's right over there. Um, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, hello there, Meg. Um, Neil, I really can't be seen talking to you anymore. I have friends now, and some of them very popular. I know. I heard Sarah is your lab partner. All those years of you rejecting me finally make sense. What do you mean? Oh my god! Wow, this is a lot more physical than I thought. My favorite part of a woman's body is haunches. And this is all haunch, baby. Hey, Goldman. Great job with sports today. Thanks, Chris. We're almost ready for the important sports game. Hey, guys. Hey, Ruth. Good gender fluid shower? Great gender fluid shower. Oh, I can't believe we're going out. This is so cool. Mm, Neil, Neil, not so fast. <laughs> uh, Meg, you need to fulfill your contractual obligations. What are you talking about? 
All right, Meg. According to the contract, every night you have to put on my pajamas. My mom's record is 12 seconds. Neil, I think you're old enough to... Go! <laughs> Neil, would you stop kicking it with this cold stare? Ow, my yeah, thumb! Hold oh, still! Oh, my now quit your neck! <laughs> ah. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to buy some candy to send Jewish kids to a Jewish place to do Jewish things? Will it get you out of my bar? It sure will. Look who's still standing, bitch. Go buy yourself something nice in hell. So, it's weird being Japanese. Last night, my husband wanted 69. I said, why do you want beef and broccoli now? Hey, that's Chinese! Tom, I'm standing here outside a Spooner Street home where a local business owner has apparently eaten himself into his own food truck. Oh, it appears they've finally removed the roof. Nobody look! This is a private gross matter. Uh, Mr. Griffin, is this uh, performance art or uh, some sort of political statement? Well, I'm kind of ticked about condoms and porn, but this is unrelated. Tom, I'm standing in the bedroom of Judy and Glenn Isaacs, ten years married and still in love. What's their secret? Judy has an inoperable brain tumor the size of my fist, and that just happens to be Glenn's fetish. Brian. Trisha. Thank you, Diane. So, Mrs. Griffin, what's it like being the woman behind the man? Well, you know, when Peter first said we were our own country, I was a bit skeptical, but then I thought, hey, I could be like Hillary Clinton, <laughs> only, you know, without the penis. Tell us a little bit about your country. Well, we're a clean, industrious people, mostly white. My son Chris is in charge of our space program. We hope to get to the moon very shortly. Almost. Ow! They should really use monkeys for this. And little Stewie here is our president of Poopy. <laughs> so where is the president now? Oh, he's out on a goodwill mission to America. Let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, who's gonna tell us all about the rain. Tom, residents all over Quahog have been affected by the heavy rains, although some are doing their best to ride it out. For example, I'm here with Rides a 10 Speed Everywhere guy. Sir, why are you riding your 10 Speed in the rain? I don't mind. A little drizzle never hurt anybody. Uh, I like riding the 10 Speed because it's fun, uh, gives me energy, and it's a great way to stay in shape. How long have you lived in Quahog? Well, I used to live in the city, but I decided moving here would be a little more relaxing, a little more manageable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Shape. What do you do for a living? I work in accounts receivable at Quahog Insurance. Uh, it's not too demanding, the pay is good, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Well, we should wrap this up. You're getting wet. Well, I'm living life before the cancer I have kills me, so uh, I don't mind the rain. Water feels good on my skin. It's cool, refreshing, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What kind of cancer? It's rectal cancer. It's slowly eating away at my lower insides. Uh, it's a quick process, both painful and untreatable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Sir, there's a reporter here to see you. Is it Kermit the Frog when he's wearing a trench coat? That tells you he's a reporter. Trisha? Diane, behind me are 1,000 beautiful doves. Gently tied to each of their delicate legs is a parade theme suggested by ordinary citizens of Quahog. And here to pick this year's winning theme is Ten Commandments star Charlton Heston. Let my pigeons go. He nailed one. We have oh. our theme. Tom, I'm standing here with Mayor Adam West with the latest information about the disappearance of young Scotty Jennings. What can you tell us, Mr. Mayor? Please, Mr. Mayor is my father. Call me John Mayor. Your body is a wonderland, by the way. What is the city doing to help rescue the missing boy? Well, we're looking for this child using all the latest technology, including the newest, most advanced multimedia milk cartons. Diane, Quahog's fabled alabaster clam is about to descend and usher in a new millennium. 
Trisha Taganawa reporting live where police have discovered the whereabouts of Seabreeze, the heiress to the pewter Schmidt fortune. The dog napper has been traced to the sleazy motel. Ah, I see my colleague Tom Tucker is already on the scene. Who's that, baby? <coughs> Hello, this is Tom Tucker. Z evil twin Todd Tucker, out to destroy his brother's reputation. Ha ha ha! Now I'm going back inside to have freaky sex with my prostitute, with whom I still have 45 minutes. Now back to this breaking news. Bring escape. Sir, do you have any plans now that you're out of jail? Yeah, I'm gonna go bang my girlfriend, and then I'm gonna kill Chris Griffin! Good lord! Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! So... Peter, are you sure you heard Mr. Pewterschmidt correctly? He actually said he wanted cheap, toxic materials inserted into the brewery supply stream? Well, his eyes looked different how he said it, but that was the gist. Also, some of the brewery workers say very hurtful things if a co-worker wears shorts. Follow the money. Mr. Griffin, it sounds like you've brought me an interesting story. What should I do with it, Ollie? Make it news! Hey, you got a standing desk, too? Sin's bad! I know, they don't want to hear it, though. Thank you, Diane. Sex, some people have it anonymously. What kind of person would do that, you might ask? Well, I'm about to find out. I just picked up a complete stranger in a hotel bar, and he's in the bathroom right now, possibly doing drugs. Watch as I have sex with this potentially dangerous man as we take you in-depth and undercover. I've never had a Spanish chick before. <laughs> Ole. Thanks, Tom. I'm here on Spooner Street where several Quahog families are holding a car wash to raise money for an organ transplant for young Paul Lewis. So what do you call this device, Paul? It's an iron lung. It keeps me from dying. I want to play baseball! And with me is one of Paul's classmates, Chris Griffin, who helped organize this charity event. You're a very thoughtful young man, Chris. Can, can I say hello to my mom? Sure. Hi, Mom! Hi, sweetheart. Joyce, I'm standing here on the streets of Quahog, where citizens are feeling the effects of the city's new drinking law. I was going to bone my girlfriend, but she told me that if there wasn't vanilla vodka involved, there was no way. Well, I think we just have to trust our elected officials. And Goldman's Pharmacy is fully stocked on cough syrup, which goes great with ginger ale. Tom, I'm standing here with Stephen Hawking, the first white man I've ever met who knows math better than me. Mr. Hawking, what does the discovery of this black hole mean to you and your research? I am overjoyed. This is the crowning achievement of my career. It validates the work of a lifetime. It certainly does. Back to you, Tom. All right, we're clear. I'm telling you, man, this shtick is getting so old. That chair smells, dude. Hey, Steve, surf's up! All right, see ya, bitch. Is Quahog in the grip of a serial arsonist? Police say no, but our producer says yes. Here's an artist's depiction of what the arsonist might look like. Anyone with information regarding the suspect should contact Quahog police immediately. One thing is certain, the pain here is palpable. For many, this charred portrait of Elizabeth II gives poignant new meaning to the phrase, Hey, check out that flaming queen. Here with more details on the snowstorm is Asian correspondent Trisha Nakahoma. That's wrong. That's wrong. You're not doing good so far. I'm standing here surrounded by snowdrifts, stalled cars, and the one douchebag who wears a tank top every time there's a blizzard. Yeah, this is nothing. Guy at work drank a quart of motor oil once and didn't even die from it. Put that on the news, but you won't. <laughs> no! Feel too crinkly! Try again! Feel too crinkly! You got la funny! This must be so difficult for you. It is. There's a lot of choices here. But I ain't talking to you. I thought you were supposed to be doing a news story on Carter, not shacking up with him. The truth is, all I ever wanted was to someday have a family of my own. And I realized Carter could give me all of that. A family all your own? Yes, a family just like this, in fact, with a fine son just like you, Peter. 
a son to whom I could one day give a piece of sour plum candy. <gasps> Thank you, Mama Trisha. But a lazy son who does not make me proud? Peter, that son deserves no candy. Uh, I swear, Mama Trisha, I'm going to make you the proudest tiger mom of all. Tom, I'm standing here outside of Quahog's new cat cafe. Local resident Brian Griffin has described the cafe as a threat to public health. That's right, Trisha, and since I'm on local TV, I'm going to talk a little too loud, and then occasionally I'm going to turn away from the microphone to point at things off camera, so my overall point is lost. Powerful claims. Thank you, Brian. I'm here with Peter Griffin, the man who claims he withstood a barrage of bullets and did not die. Peter, are you saying that if I shoot you in the head with this Channel 5 pistol, you'll be completely unharmed? Why don't you uh, give it a shot? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here goes. What have I done? <laughs> oh, 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 you're awful. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Sir, for those viewers who aren't familiar with the tradition, can you tell us about the Renaissance Fair? Yay, but first, Bride of Genghis, thou must explain us to me thy very peculiar electronic wand. Ooh. Well, this stuff's already in her drink. No! Where'd you get these? Oh, I see the guy. You're a weird guy, Griffin. Eh, I don't know. Professional ninja Jerry Nelson, how did you find your silver scroll? Well, I was at home nursing this throwing star wound. My wife Janie gives me a beer and bam, there it was. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. You know you can't sneak up on me like that. That's right, Tom. Some lucky hideous woman will be transformed by our makeover magicians into someone of value to society. Meg, that's it. You could get a makeover. Oh, that'd be just the thing to boost your confidence. Miss Takanawa! Miss Takanawa! Over here! Ah, oh, my daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. <laughs> It looks like we've got a winner, Tom. So? The story on everyone's mind continues to be the absence of police officers in Quahog. Sir, as a citizen, how has this affected you? The police are gone? Oh my god, we're finally safe! <laughs> I'm standing outside the mayor's mansion, where, against the wishes of his attorneys, the mayor has agreed to an impromptu press conference. Mayor West! Mayor West! What do you know about the murder? Did you kill that man? Yes, I'll take a question from the reporter from the Quahog Elementary School Gazette. Timmy? Are you afraid of the dark? I thought we had an understanding that the dark was off limits. This press conference is over. This has been Trisha Takanawa with the news, and now I will have my normal post-news review from my mom in her car. You're no good! You're no good on news! You're stiff like watching board! Joe London mother so happy! Trisha Takanawa mother so sad! Mm. Well, what do you think, Diane? Can mm. I cook or what? I'm delicious, Tom. I guess we should be eating her with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They're eating Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa. That's crazy. They're just going to be hungry again in an hour. Asian flu correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Trisha? Diane, I'm... <laughs> ...at the Quahog Civic Center, awash in a pool of prepubescent sexual moisture. <laughs> we love you, Justin! 
Chris, I'm lying here listening to you toss and turn and wondering if there's something you'd like to discuss. I don't know. It's just, it's been so hard since Mom and Dad died and Joe moved in with all his big band records. Joe! Chris, I'm lying here asking you to kick Joe out of the house. What? He was my dad's best friend for 20 years. I can't do that. Chris, I offer you a choice. <laughs> Luckily, I'm the town windower. For me, every day is a pain. Can we please stop this? This is Trisha Takanawa. I am standing outside Quahog Hospital, where accused kidnappers Lois and Peter Griffin have just arrived. Also arriving is my overprotective boyfriend, who is suspicious whenever I am called into work at night, even though I've been a reporter for years, Tyrone. I thought I told you to mention my painting business. Diane, I'm standing outside the Park Barrington Hotel because they don't allow Asians inside. Fancy place. Boy, that'd make some second honeymoon, huh? The Park Barrington is already attracting some big names, such as Christianity enthusiast Mel Gibson, who has his own room on permanent reserve. A room which he barely uses. Barely uses, huh? Fresh attack an hour. What are you doing here? Peter, I'm standing here on your front porch hoping to kill that dolphin with this harpoon. Japan! They kill things that we like! So... Trisha Takanawa, 88! Peter, I'm standing here because I am the only Asian recurring character on the series. You can tell I'm different because my weapon is different. Oh, well then maybe I won't be able to chop your head off. Oh, yep. I had a great day with the fat son. He started to respond positively to the caning of his buttocks and knuckles. Speaking of buttocks and knuckles, let's fool around. Mmm, sounds good. I wonder if I can tell you one of my deepest sexual fantasies. All right, let me just burp through my nose for a second. I've been drinking seltzer. <sighs> okay, what do you got? Well, you're going to think this is silly, but I love it when a man confesses to manufacturing improprieties. Oh, yeah? Well, then you're gonna love this. I ordered the brewery to start making beer cans out of toxic, unsafe metal just to save a few bucks. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you, Carter. And there you have it, Channel 5 News audience. This has been Trisha Takanawa with my undercover expose of Pawtucket Patriot Brewery. Up next is Papa John dyeing his eyebrows. I sleep with him to find out, though I'm fairly confident the answer is yes. With details, we now go live to Indian reporter Trisha Dasgupta. Oh, my golly, there is much commotion. Thank you, Trisha. Now let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa so we can be shocked at how well her people age. Trisha? Tom, I'm standing here with flawless skin next to the shedding, crumbling, dusty, ancient relics of white people my age. Lois, <laughs> fat ass! Family, I want you to meet Trisha Takanawa. Hello, everyone. So happy you came. Yep, food's on the table. And if anyone needs some dirty underpants, the vending machine's right over there. 
How nice. Right where my mother's china cabinet used to be. Tom, I'm standing here at Boston's Logan Airport, where some of the same security people who let the terrorists on the plane are still gainfully employed. With such low fares, even those who never fly are lining up to buy tickets. Early reports suggest that this could be the most profitable day for airlines in the last two decades. I'm Trisha Takanawa. Back to you, Tom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Joe. Chris, Meg, we're going home. Well, good. You were just slowing me down anyway. You, Asian lady, you're the new Lois. I will have one scoop of mint chocolate chip in a waffle cone. You're a practical, straightforward people. Apparently, we've lost Trisha. Tom, I'm standing here outside some public toilets where dads who are really hurting will be vomiting in front of their still-developing children. The parade is tomorrow, but already the giant balloons are being inflated, including two newcomers this year, Pepe the alt-right frog and Hops the dog, the beloved beer pitchman. Hello, Mother. I'm so happy you could be here tonight. What happy? You know what for Channel 10? Just Channel 5. Only half as good. Mother, please. I I'm being honored tonight. What honor? Connie Chung, Mary Mori Povich, for media super team. Where your Povich? You have no Povich. Oh, married life is pretty good. No, still no kids, but I've been practicing a lot by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Masturbating, yes. Between you and me, I think Trisha might be barren. <laughs> uh, Stewie, I'd better go. <laughs> Trisha's giving me that look. <laughs> okay, give my love to Brian and Meg, and hopefully we can come down there for the season finale. No? You're just not going to be a part of this at all? Okay, then. Bye, Stewie. Chris, I'm standing here in the living room because I need to talk to you about something very important. Look, we've been through this. It's my house, and I want to wear shoes in it. Chris, I offer you a choice. You can either continue wearing shoes in the house or continue having sex with this age-defying Eastern physique. <laughs> I'm standing here for some reason doing the weather in a giant black man's body. What kind of a Friday is this? Freaky! Back to you, Tom. Live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Tom, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. She's doing fun things for me for money. Diane, I'm hearing... Thank you, Trisha. Stay tuned for further... Ah! All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm going to whip that cigarette out of your mouth and maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't want to do this. Stay still! Ah! Okay, that's pretty cool, too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah! I thought you couldn't understand me! Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. Well, keep that freakish thing under wraps. I don't want it cramping my style while I'm macking on toddlers. See you around, bitch. Hey, Brian, uh, another categories question. The category is type of pet. Herbert put Cambodian. That's not right, right? Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, all right? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... I, I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, f I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. <laughs> Hey, dude, can you pass me a speck of spaz? Sorry, bruh, all out. You want a cube of fruish? No, I'm not into fruish. I got a tear of laser dragon. Can I handle that? I don't know. Can you? Gum, what the hell is going on? Now, the Catholics believe that as long as you accept Jesus before you die, anyone can get into heaven. Really? Anyone? <laughs> I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Yes! You know, Peter, I actually had a good time with you tonight. And I just want to say... Well, I'm glad you married my daughter. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, actually, it wasn't me. It was... No, no, it, it's okay. I'm used to it.
Today, we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat, Bootsy, out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon, and we're here to honor him. Hey, how's your job search going? Oh, it sucks, Brian. I've already been through two jobs this week. I got fired off of that commercial. Try it again. I'm caca for Cuckoo Puffs. No, oh, damn it, take 26. And then I had that job as the sneeze guard for the salad bar at that restaurant. Uh, 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 I get outside, lady. And then I thought I could win some money in that talent show. And the grand prize goes to the Von Trapp Family Singers. Oh, that is bull... Peter, I, I know it's a dangerous precedent, but you, uh, you might want to just tell Lois the truth. What, that I can't provide for my family? That, that she's always right? That I didn't really stand up to that tank in Tiananmen Square? Huh, screw this. I just came over to buy some fireworks. Peter, you can't keep lying to her about losing your job. Sooner or later, she's going to find out where you're really going every day. Oh, yeah. Okay, hearts. He's a bad fit, like a crocodile at an alligator rally. Yeah! Lurking in the water with our eyes poking out! Yeah! yeah! Sneaking up on a crane or an egret and snapping our jaws on it! Yeah! And sometimes walking out onto a dry plain or dusty field because it's nice to get out of the swamp now and then! Yeah! yeah! Uh, wait, uh, what? 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 Huh? Dry plain? Dusty field? Nice to get out of the swamp? What a crock! And that's where we get the term. All right, kids, you are really going to love these Cornish game hens I cooked for dinner. Now, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I worked all day getting them just right. Holy crap! Oh, my God. Then that means... And that also means... You know what, Peter? You tried hard, and you still earned that wine. Yeah, this is boring. I'd rather be home watching that video from the ring. Peter, don't. They say if you watch that video, you die. Ah, yeah, that's a lot of bull. Like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. What's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman and a Napoleon hat? But we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion is Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it. Play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right. I'm gonna check her for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, What's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. What the hell is going on up there? Wow, 20 bucks just to drive you across town? Maybe I should be an Uber driver. I mean, I could use the extra money, and it's got to be easier than when I was delivering pizzas. All right, push. Push. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Just one more push. Here it is. Oh, it's half Hawaiian. I believe that's ours. You poor fool. Hey, Lois. So, how was your first day of voiceover? Eh, it was nothing. Turns out I'm just doing very obscure European commercials. Uh, you know, I've got to get myself back out there, too. I haven't performed since I was in Stew Man Group. I don't get it! What is this? We don't know either. Ugh, my parents are not gonna like this, Peter. You know, they're still angry at how you behaved at our wedding. You may now kiss the bride. Kiss her? I am gonna destroy her. Hi, I'm a 15-year-old wild card. And... Well, let's get your gun already! Thanks again for coming, guys. It really means a lot to me. Of course, honey. We wouldn't miss it. Plus, it's a good excuse to put on my winter coat and find items from last year still in the pocket. Ooh, sticky pennies, a rock-hard starburst, an appointment card for my next dental appointment that's already come and gone, a ticket stub for a matinee of Interstellar, an unwrapped piece of dentine, a yarmulke from when that Jewish guy died, a breath mint from the now defunct Chlorets Corporation, printed out map quest directions to Dave and Busters, Iron Man Band Aid, Flintstone Vitamin I didn't take because it was Barney, refrigerator magnet from local electrician who is now arrested, and balled up tissues with last year's flow on it. You done with your pocket bits? It's free. In any case, Lyle, I'm very proud of you and your progress. You, my friend, are the greatest invention since the Trapper Creeper. Oh. 
Yum, 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 yum. Look, Peter, I'm glad you're thinking about Chris's future, but he's fine. He's a perfectly normal kid. Are you crazy? Look at him. He's over there intentionally giving himself a nosebleed. <laughs> Yay! My nose is finally a woman! <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Hey, I, I, just to be clear, I don't really think you're a whore. I, I just need to say that to, you know, to finish. Oh. Yeah, 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 of course. And obviously, I don't think you're my Uncle Dale. Good, good, same page. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, left cankle, red. <laughs> right muffin top, blue. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, God, kill me. There he is, Mr. Former Sex Offender. But Mom, it's not that big a deal. All I did was finish those creepy classes. I know, but now your record is clear. You can go back to being a normal boy and put all this behind you. Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Nice crank, you dirty little bastard. Sorry, I'll take that. Here's your cake. I ate a great deal of it. Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are gonna get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay. The best Chardonnay I'd ever had in my life. The man who made it, Curtis Murder Dog Williams, went on to become one of America's most celebrated vintners. Hey, Joe here. Peter's lying. He drank pee-pee. Hurry, take everything, and be quick, or we'll be in bigger trouble than a fat guy at a water park. Come on, Dad. Let's go on the water slide. <sighs> I can't fit. I'm afraid I'll get stuck. I'll just go in the lazy river. But, Dad... No, son. This is the life. Well, I should probably say no, but I've never been known for my good judgment. I mean, that's how I got into trouble with the PETA catcher. <laughs> your lollipops. Lollipops, come along, Peter. Peter, you mustn't. I've got cream pies, trinkle tarts. Trinkle tarts? <laughs> I'm gonna get so molested. may meet the king's gaze. So, uh, hey, congratulations again on that, uh, homecoming thing. Why congratulate me on a right and natural turn of events? Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall select three things from Stewie's room that I wish to be mine. There's a book in there on how to eat healthy. Why don't you take that, you fat bitch? Oh, you are a writer? Are you famous? By choice, no. No, sometimes fame brings a lot of unwanted attention. I mean, look at William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Hi. Nice collar, you fruit. Thank you. Hey, Shakespeare, what's the title of your next play? You should call it Homosexual Collar Guy. Ah, by Japes and Jabs, cut me to the quick, squire. What does that even mean? I know. It means I use this collar as a bib for when I service guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, how'd you like the collar? Tis not for me. Oh my God, Peter, our dishwasher is full of sex toys. Oh yeah, Chris put those in there. It's for his job. He's working for Quagmire now. He's washing sex toys for Quagmire? Not just that, he also takes pictures of Quagmire's genitals to track sore growth. So brace yourself when you open iPhoto. It's on the Griffin family account. Peter, my parents have access to that. What's wrong with this worm? What do you mean Chris won't take a dive? We already took a ton of bets. Look, I'm sorry, you guys, but my hot piece of ass wife says no way. That's a weird time to brag about your wife, Peter. I don't know. I've just been so horny today. Oh, man, I don't need to know that. Well, pull it together, Peter, because we're about to lose a lot of money. Well, you guys are creeping me out.
All right, I'm gonna exit while discreetly checking out the hot chick by the door. Hey, baby, you want a party? Get in. You guys having a good night? I like that it's getting dark earlier. Big Pete, help! She wants to do German things! German things! What? No! He hasn't eaten anything in days! It's not gonna work! Nine! Nine! Yeah. Ah, she's got us both! Help us, pimps and hoes! Help us, HBO camera crew! Dad refuses to interact with any actors on set. He'll only rehearse with helium balloons with crudely drawn faces on them. I'm sorry, Meg, but you're grounded. But, Dad, the prom is tonight. Over. You heard your father, Meg. Over. Peter, you ready to hit the drunken clam? Over. It's difficult having to give up my chair for the balloon, but that's the business we call show. Excuse me, Joe. Hi, uh, I'd like to be an Uber driver. Okay, sure. Welcome aboard. Don't I... don't I need to fill out a form? Or... Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Name, Peter Griffin. Criminal history. This section is optional. I will skip this. And done. Here you go. Yeah, none of this really matters. All I need to know is, do you have a car, a phone, and a face? It's my dog's car. Oh, and I know you didn't ask, but I am quick to anger. Okay, great. Now get out there and try to kiss as many ladies as you can. The record is 60 in a month. You, sir, are officially an Uber driver. <laughs> Wait, how did Joe get halfway up those stairs? Lois, get in here! It's dark and I'm frightened! I think they've got this thing backwards. Hey, wake up! I had a bad dream, so now your night has to be terrible. Peter, Stewie's upset. Scooch over so he can sleep with us. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Last time he kicked me all night. And I got a big day tomorrow. I got two shows. All right, folks. Big treat for you today. He's a little shy. Put your hands together for Sham Peter. I'm not shy. I'm angry. I'm in constant pain. This act has been condemned by over 30 nations. I'm gonna kill you all. We really gotta figure out a better way to budget for this family's future. Bitcoin. What? I don't know. This is serious. We need to think about our kids' education. Of course, it's already too late for Meg to go to college. And Chris is too dumb to get in anywhere. Yay! No, Chris, not yay. But there's still time for Stewie. Let's sit down later and see if we can figure out a plan to get our finances in order. Eh, don't worry about it, Lois. I will always provide for the family, even if I have to shoot our dinner. <laughs> This'll look great in my study. I'm a hunter, but I'm a silly hunter. Well, I like helping people out. That's why I was such a good breakup rodeo clown. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. I've been sleeping with your sister. Hey now, hey now, over here, over here, over here, hey now, hey now, over here, over here, hey now, hey now, over here, over here. <laughs> oh, and now that I'm inside the barrel, he gave you and your sister HPV. I hope you enjoyed your meal, sir. May I offer you a toothpick? Oh, I, I don't know, we've already spent a lot of money in here tonight. No, sir, I it's free. Oh. Peter, that's not how you use a toothpick. You pick your teeth with it. I cannot believe I have to explain this to you. There are gaps in my knowledge. This is hardly news. Wow, this is awesome. This is like I'm having a whole second meal. Man, this just feels right. Okay, skinny legs, here I come. Good morning. Are you ready to sweat? I woke up sweating. Okay, let's climb this hill. I want to impress you, but also see if I can peek down your sports bra. Uh, ow! 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 My balls! Oh, the other ones. Ow! 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 Did you hear that? I think Peter hurt his balls. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Must have been at a frequency only dogs can hear. Uh, uh. 
Excuse me, I have to go bark. <laughs> okay, everyone, time to leave for the traditional town tree lighting ceremony. What's happening now? I can't hear her. Sweet. Tree lighting. Guess that means it's showtime. Wait, what is this? Oh, nothing. Just my own tradition of putting four dozen hard-boiled eggs in a Kroger bag and passing them out at the tree lighting. Okay, we get it, Meg. You're dark and different. Wow, Meg really is dark and different. Yeah, they call me Meg the Egg because of my big bag of eggs. Uh, I hope you guys don't start calling me that, but you can if you want to. Oh, is this the Meg the Egg thing? Yeah, no one's on board with that. Boy, this takes me back. You know, I was uh, kind of one of those theater kids in high school. Bruce, I pooped in the pot again. I'm gonna need somebody to clean me up. <laughs> it's really bad this time. Yo, you 5 -oh. No, I'm 87, but how flattering. Now get me drugs, scummy drug dealer. You got it, mayor of our city. Mm. I wonder which of us is the bigger criminal. Oh, that's easy, you are. Hey, can you teach me to sell drugs? Yeah, and I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, something where they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about. You know? Hey, what's this? This looks good. I'd say the war! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! Well, I better get to work then. But I seriously doubt that I'll be able to pull this off. Hey, come on. Anything's possible. Like when that Starbucks cup made it onto Game of Thrones. This is it! Here it comes! Here it comes! Hey! Oh my god, that's so cool! I can't believe this. What's the internet saying? They... they thought you were great. Okay, now we've got him. The real Carter would never go to a Starbucks. He thinks they're too liberal and pretentious. Coffee for Brent? <laughs> Latte for Cecil? <laughs> Beanie? <laughs> None of those people are real! I'm stealing all your sugar packets and napkins! Woodstock's over! Screw off. I don't want anything to do with you or your damn laws. Oh, just take a look, will you? <sighs> You're banning straight-to-video Disney films? Absolutely. I mean, look at this. Aladdin 4, Jafar may need glasses. Number one. Number two. Um... Number one. Number two. Um, about the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three. Number four. Number three. Five. And six. Oh. Uh. Five and six. Uh, About the same? Yeah, they're pretty much... Can I see five one more time? Five and six. Yeah, they're about the same. We now return to Ethiopian Hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. Let's see. I guess 185 pounds. Wrong. I'm 95% helium. Yeah, it's good to have you back, buddy. Thanks, Dad. I didn't really fit in there anyway. The rooms were only 15 by 20. <laughs> uh, if I didn't learn to laugh at myself, I'd be dead right now. Why don't you take your stuff up to your room, Chris? Okay, Mom. Cut it out! I'm just trying to live my life! No one taught me about carbs! Come on, Lois, I think we're wasting our time here. They're obviously very committed to their beliefs. But their beliefs are crazy, Brian! I don't know who's crazier, these people or those Seventh-day Adventists. I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our Savior, and we remember Him by going to church and praising Him every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? 
Peter! Dead? What do you think you're doing, Peter? You were raised Catholic. If you forsake your religion, you'll spend eternity in hell. Oh, God, I don't want that. Then you better knock off all the Jewish stuff. Well, all right, if that's what you think is best. Oh, wait, Dad, before you go, can you say, Peter, you must go to the Dagobah system? Peter, you must go to the Dagobah system. <sighs> Thanks. Lois! I know how to get her attention. Lois, I'm about to drink my first soda. Better come stop me. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me. Oh, now I'm sad. You're my friend. You're my best friend. Let's choke on these together. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Let's switch. <laughs> eh, don't oversell it, Lois. No, it was good. It almost felt like it was written by a real writer. I read your article too, Brian. Seems to me you should spend less time working for the paper and more time working on that novel you've been working on. You know <laughs> Hey, Dad, you're on. Hey, PTV fans, welcome to Douchebags. We're out here on the I-95 overpass doing our first segment, I Dare You to Crap Off of That. Basically, we'll spend the day crapping off things that others have dared us to crap off. I dared him. All right, here we go. I say, are those two pigs vomiting up there? <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, Lois, before you start yelling, let me remind you that you were the one who recklessly drove into oncoming crap. It was inexcusable, Peter, and Stewie may never be able to ride in the car again. Turn off the windshield wipers. They don't work. They're just making it worse. Who is it? It's your granddaughter, Red. How do I know it's you? Oh, come on, that's a perfect imitation. Open up, I brought strawberry shortcake and Cool Whip. And what? Oh, sorry. I mean, cool whip. That's my little girl. You know, Brian, that acting stuff was a bit much for me, but I did quite enjoy the dancing and the cocaine. Yeah? Yep. So you're just going to be a dancer and a drug addict? For a while. I might crash when I'm 18, but then I'll just turn to the Lord and working out. I'll, I'll just be a 180-degree different type of insufferable. I used to need drugs to feel powerful, but now my power comes from my core strength. And let's look at that word, strength. The S stands for sacrifice. No gain without sacrifice. The T, of course, stands for the sufferings of the cross. The R... You want some cocaine? Oh my god, please, yes! That's all I want, all the time! Listen, Meg, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you here. I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable. Oh, just relax. We're gonna be here for a while. Well, I don't know if... You... Wait, what? We're gonna be here for a while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. Brian, you're acting weird. Oh, come on. That one doesn't even have an H in it. Oh, you know, this is why... You, Brian, you remember the last couple of weeks I kept saying, can I have a couple minutes of your time to talk to you about something? This is what it was about. This evening is ruined. Look, I, Wait, what? This evening is ruined. The whole evening is ruined. Why are you saying it like that? Saying what? I'm just pointing out the party's ruined. You know what? I'm not going to get sucked into this. Okay, just so I'm sure, really? Are, are you just trying to piss me off, or is that really how you say that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this ruined evening. That's not how you say ruined. What? Ruined? What do you call the remains of ancient Greek structures? Ruins. And how would you describe this evening? Well, ruined, of course. This evening is ruined. Say ruined. 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 Dumbass. Oh, Brian, don't be cruel. Now, what are you going to do about it? You're just a train conductor. Who has a huge kicking foot? <laughs> ah! Oh! Where the hell am I? Oh my god, I'm in the wrong Korea! That's it. Like your missiles, I'm about to go ballistic. 
But that's not how it really happened. That's it. Like your missiles, I'm about to go ballistic. Ow! A northern bird flew into my nuts. Oh, go to commercial. And I also ordered an extra slice of pie. Because you know how many times we live, Brian? Once. Once. <laughs> oh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Tonight, when they put that crown on my head, it's going to be the greatest night of my life. Even better than when I had my first kiss. Who's that? Who are you? Where's Peter? Where is he? You're a whore. Wear your whore makeup, you whore. Is somebody in there? Occupado. Filthy whore. You're somebody's father, you filthy whore. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Listen, thanks, everybody. I had a great time tonight. Uh, I want to thank Jimmy Fallon for being such a good sport. Uh, Lois, Meg, Stewie, Brian, Chris, uh, the guys from the prison, uh, Counting Crows. Uh, uh, if I'm forgetting anybody, I'm sorry. Good night, everybody. I thought so with you, Chevy. Is Netflix streaming the right choice for you? Well, if you like movies in HD, then Frozen Pixels, then HD again, the answer is yes. And if you love the golden year of movies, 2003, then we might have some of what you're looking for. Netflix streaming. Buffer for 20 minutes, then watch 35 minutes of a movie with Jason Statham. As we say in Ireland, let's drink until the alcohol in our system destroys our livers and kills us. I got 20 on the fat one. Which, Which one's, one's the, the fat, fat one? It's lucky you packed so many blow-up dolls, quack, 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 Mario. Be careful. The tiniest prick will pop these things. Giggity. Stupid Lois. I'm not gonna use it in the house. The Wendy's employee gave it to me if I promise to calm down. Peter, this is a dead end. All I see here is your Nerf gun from last summer. Oh, no way. She said I lost that. She deserves to be in jail. Hey! Suck on that, Lois. That was very close to my eyes, Peter. It wasn't close to your eye. That's why I took it. It was so far from your eye. Dad, what are we doing here? Now that I sweat all the time, it's just natural that I'd be a very sweaty bomb diffuser. Steady. You can do this. All you gotta do is remember the song you learned in bomb school. Green is good, and green is good, and red is good, and yellow is good, and clip whatever you want. Now who can tell me what he did wrong? He made up a song about cutting he wires? He made up a song about cutting wires. Don't do that, guys. Well, somebody's gotta step in. Tomorrow I'm going down to James Woods High and offer to teach the class myself. Hey, you could really make a difference. Like I did when I taught money management to those drug addicts. There's a lot of ways for you guys to save money. For example, you're all shooting up. Why not share needles? That's a no-brainer. More money in your wallet, more drugs in your veins. My second piece of advice, have as many kids as you can. Because that makes it more likely that one of those kids will grow up and make it big in Hollywood. Then who's paying the bills, eh? Hollywood kid. Class dismissed. How come I'm never employee in a month? Man, this is the worst job I've had since I was the conductor for the sand... 
I can't see a thing without my glasses. Why won't you let me get laser surgery? Because I just don't think it's safe. Okay, I just need to make a quick incision here and we should be all done, Mrs. Wilson. Luke, use the force. Really? Because I was just going to make a... Use the force. Okay. <laughs> Are you happy? I've never been happy. Peter, what's going on? I'm selling all my worldly goods so you'll have some cash when I'm dead. <sighs> yeah, a lot of memories here. Look, my first bike. Boy, I had so much fun playing with that. More tea, Mr. Bike? Oh, I wish that scary-looking clown at the end of my bed would go away. I'm not really much of a fast food eater. Yeah? Can you read my mind? Can you tell what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking shut up and get a salad. I want some McNuggets. We'll get to you, Brent. I want a hamburger. No, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog. I want a milkshake. You'll get nothing and like it. Uh, hello? Yes, welcome to McDonald's. Can I help you? Oh, hailing frequency's open, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get uh, uh, two McChicken sandwiches and a Diet Coke and... Uh, uh, what do you want, Michael? I make DLT. No, I already told you they don't make those anymore. You know, sometimes it's a regional thing. You could ask. No McDonald's anywhere makes a McDLT anymore. I'd love a shamrock shake if I got any of those. It's September, Jonathan. Stewie, can I take this headband off? No, LeVar, you're blind. That's the only way you can see. I'm just saying they have all the ingredients for a McDLT. Just hang on, all right? There's a lot of us. There's a lot of... It's a big order. What time do they stop serving breakfast? It's three o'clock. Some of them serve breakfast all no, day. No, they don't serve breakfast all day! Do they have beer? We're going too fast. We're going to crash into that lake. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, right there. That's good. And now to discharge the plane's fire retardant. Giggity. Principal Shepard, we were so surprised to get your call. What's going on? Mrs. Griffin, Meg, and Chris were caught cheating. What? Yes, they had the lost boys of the Sudan standing in for them in gym class. Nice block, Griffin. Nice shot, other Griffin. This is terrible. What do you think about this, Pete, huh? Bad. Very bad. Nice work, Fry. Whoops. Well, at least Joe gets to be a cyborg. Freeze, Frogmeyer! You are out past curfew and therefore in violation of local ordinance. Ribbity. Ribbity. Oh, yeah, no, it's going to sound fantastic. Attention delegates, this session of the United Nations is hereby convened. Man, this sucks. Hey, podium guy! Hey, I got a problem here. Excuse me, some of us are here to learn. No one's talking to you, Albania. Is there a problem back there? You bet your funny accent there's a problem. I'm stuck up here in the nosebleeds. I am president of Pretoria. I want a better seat. Oh, of course. How could we not have recognized the great nation of Pretoria? <laughs> have a seat up front. Oh, oh, quiet, everybody. My commercial's on. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin of the New England Patriots. I'm here to kick off the Touchdown of Savings weekend at Wilkins Hyundai and Subaru. We will blitz the competition, and in no time, you'll be driving your new Hyundai or Subaru right to a touchdown. At Wilkins Hyundai and Subaru, we have Hyundais and Subarus. Now if I could just find someone to wear this hero hat. <gasps> I think I found him. Well, I say, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. I'm sorry, Principal Shepard. We've tried talking to Chris. We just don't know what else to do. Well, I think we may have a solution. We have these cats that hang around the school, and we feed them. Why doesn't Chris come in, and we can treat him like one of the cats? And in a couple of years, we'll give him a diploma. That doesn't sound like he'll be getting the best education. I don't know, Lois. Some of those cats go on to get pretty good jobs. Well... Yep. 
Oh, you know, this is why... You, Brian, you remember the last couple of weeks I kept saying, can I have a couple of minutes of your time to talk to you about something? This is what it was about. This evening is ruined. Look, I, wait, what? This evening is ruined. The whole evening is ruined. Why are you saying it like that? Saying what? I'm just pointing out the party's ruined. You know what? I'm not going to get sucked into this. Okay, just so I'm sure, really? Are, are you just trying to piss me off, or is that really how you say that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this ruined evening. That's not how you say ruined. What? Ruined? What do you call the remains of ancient Greek structures? Ruins. And how would you describe this evening? Well, ruined, of course. This evening is ruined. Say ruined. 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 Dumbass. Oh, Brian, don't be cruel. <gasps> there he is. Quick, Peter, grab the video camera. All right, all right. What's wrong with Stewie? I think he has stage fright. I think he has stage fright, Peter. That's what I just said. I said that. <laughs> Look at Stewie. What a baby. Ugh, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. Evil, evil monkey! Ah! Ah! Mayor West? Quiet, young man. Can't you see we're having a poker game? Now, I'll ask again. If I order a pizza, will anyone else have some? I might have a slice. Well, you know, I'm going to need more of a commitment than that, Mark. You can't imagine how it feels to have your heart broken so many times. Aunt Carol, Mom says you'd make a great Florida whore. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, well, oh, Chris, I, I said that about Kate Hudson. You know, I always thought I'd be a good Florida whore. Thanks to you, my hair stays like this when we stop. We now return to the love boat with Somali pirates. I am the captain now. Well, okay, but that means you're in charge of getting Mr. Devlin to admit that after 30 years, he still loves Mrs. Devlin very much. That is not the captain's responsibility. Well, maybe not where you come from, but here on the love boat. Now, who is Mr. Devlin? Try skinny dipping with her like when you were kids. It was awfully nice of our new neighbors to invite us over for dinner. I don't know, Lois. Going to Cleveland's house with someone else living there just seems weird. Like when a new pope moves into the Vatican. Hi, I don't know who to complain to about this, but I'm still getting XVIII's mail. Yeah, no. No, he's not here anymore. This is XXIV. Yeah, no, I don't need Newsweek. No, I don't need National Geographic. I, no, no, yeah, no, we'll, ha we'll hang on to Boy's Life. It's gone! It's gone! Oh, thank God! Peter, what's that sound? Oh, my God, they're babies. Hey, look, Lois, there are three of them. Just like us. And, uh... Um... Sweet. Hey, look, what's wrong with Peter? Well, you smell that? He's passed out drunk. Does no one in this house have any dignity? Hey, Lois, I'm home from the clam and I'm horny. Hmm, <laughs> seems like reverse time did that kid a favor. I'm not so sure about that. Stand up! You're gonna break that thermometer! That's right, little buddy. What do you want most in the whole world? In the whole world, you say? Oh, what the hell? Hey, Brian, check it out. This might be my biggest candy score ever.
Probably thanks to my killer costume. What are you dressed as? I'm the oh my god reaction gif. And people get that? Yeah, everyone's dressed as gifs. Ain't that right, Pop? So, what are you thinking? I thought it could be a fun family activity if we had a make-your-own pizza night. Well, we could order Domino's. No, come on, this'll be fun. Everyone gets their own crust, and you can choose from any of the items I put out, huh? It could be olives, it could be peppers, and for the risk takers, I even put out some pineapple. <laughs> you can put anything you want on your pizza. Yeah, I'm putting a Domino's pizza on my pizza. Domino's. We're both terrible and better than your pizza. Thank you for doing this, Brian. No problem, Stewie. Our first stop today is a Jewish synagogue. Wow, every brick in this place is named after someone. Yeah, they do that to honor their donors. So that side of the building was donated by someone named Get Out of Our Town? No, I, I think that was the work of some shaved-headed gentleman, but, but we're here to talk about Judaism. So where do they think they go when they die? Well, you should try asking the rabbi. Although I should warn you, you might not get an answer. So where do Jewish people think they go when they die? Where do you think we go? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Why do you think you're asking all these questions? I, I, just, I just really want to know what happens. Do you think that's part of God's infinite plan? I think your whole religion is a sham just so you can get extra holidays off from work. Oh, gotta go. It's Buchwach. There's a rock right there. There's a huge rock right there, and it's covered up by grass, and there's no way you can see it, and I got lucky, but someone else could hurt themselves, and, and, and a small cut is, is, a, is a death sentence in these times. So let's just, you know, let, let's, let's get these rocks out of here. Jeez, what's her problem? Ugh, Thanksgiving's exhausting. You know what she could use? A little sip of that drink I invented. Hi, Stewie Griffin here with my latest creation, Monster Energy Drink. What is it? I don't know, but it's free from this truck that stopped outside your work. Mix it with booze. Ever been wide awake, blacked out? Ever try to jump over a train on a bike? Ever bit the beak off a bird? Monster Energy. Put it in your body and ask questions later. It's green, so it's nature. Peter, do we have to watch this? This is what rednecks watch, Brian. Peter, that's disgusting. Here, spit in this cup instead. Oh, there's my apple juice. Stewie, wait, don't... Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Ah, uh, never mind. After tonight, Cousin It isn't gonna be the only one covered in hair. Okay, nope, I'm out. I'm gonna go finish my coffee in the sunroom. Chris was FaceTiming with a foot in there. I'm gonna just call it a day, go to sleep. Dogs can just do that. Does anyone know how to send athletes foot spray to Romania? Peter, your breakfast is ready. Hang on, I'll be right back, Lois. I'm just going across the street. Peter, you can't keep using Cleveland's bathroom. Oh my god, yes I can. Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything! Wow, I haven't seen Meg this happy since that bus broke down in front of our house. <gasps> Hi, can we use your phone? Holy crap, it's the children of the corn! I want to be a mayor in real life. So I'm here to ask you to make me the mayor of your town. Vote for me, Adam West. It'll be... A home run. Oh, God. It'll be a home run. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. That's what I wanted you to think. What are you talking about? Yeah, I scammed you, man. Took you for a ride, Jack. You thought you were a big wheel till you found out squares don't roll, man. Dig this, Hepcat. The stew man spun you round like a Bill Evans 45. Wait, what's happening? I'll tell you what's happening, Brian. The whole family's becoming Jack Kerouac's insufferable friends. No one wants us at their apartment party, you dig?
Get hip to that daddy or skit scat out of the house. And we don't know how to end these shows anymore, so we just do nonsense. Peter, you're not even dressed. For what? Chris's class is performing a rock and roll choir. They've been practicing for months. For months or four months? For months. Three months. Not long enough. Pass. I just wish we were doing songs that weren't so hard to sing as a group. Oh, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing at Griffin's shoes. Why? What's wrong with them? I don't even know what those are. What's Teslic? Um, I'm not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Running, throwing, lifting big things. Teslic. That's all right with me, man. Each shoe sold separate. And now it's time for the Channel 5 Sports Report, brought to you by Kia. Kia, too bad it's a Kia. Consume. I love you so much. This sucks. Well, you know, when I was your age, we had way better drinking games. Ow! Ah, uh, you drink. <laughs> it's the cops! Run! <laughs> Hold it, you two. Aren't you a little old to be drinking illegally? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. Lois, look over there. Run! All right, Cleveland, if this doesn't light a fire in your belly, nothing will. Hey, look at me. I'm Quagmire. I had sex with your wife. Giggity, 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 giggity. <laughs> Those are so his mannerisms. <laughs> Good night, losers. Well, game night was a success. Peter, you do know that all your questions were incredibly easy. Yeah, easy for me. Good night, morons. You ever stop and think, wow, I'm married to that guy? Nah, I just repress it. Is that healthy? Ah, what's the worst that could happen? I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor, I'm a tumor. Oh, 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 I'm a tumor. Oh, he's a snooze juicer. Okay. Wow, I didn't know Chris had this dark side to him. Oh, yeah. Chris has a major dark side. My dad is actually really scared of him. What? Who's there? Go back to sleep, Dad. Okay. You're very precious to me. Peter, what are you doing? Crack. What the f Hey, at least I'm not drinking, Brian. Yeah, this isn't exactly a good substitute. Where'd you get crack? From Black's. What? Yeah, right behind Black's hardware store. There's a white guy selling it. Look, doing crack is not the way to stop drinking. Y you need to get to the heart of why you feel the need to drink in the first place. Look, here. This is the number of a hypnotherapist I want you to see. All right, Brian. Good. Hey, Peter, just thought I'd check on you. Oh, my God! Government came and took my baby! I'm entitled to these things, Lewis, especially after I got shafted by that Asian Santa at the mall. What you want? What you want for Christmas? Um, I was thinking maybe one of those old-timey... Too late! Take too long! Sad Christmas! What you want? Fire truck! What color? Red! Next! Ah! All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm gonna whip that cigarette out of your mouth. And maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't want to do this. Stay still! Ah! Okay, that's pretty cool, too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah! I thought you couldn't understand me! So you say this gumball machine took your dime and didn't give you a gumball? That's right. Well, I'll take care of that. Hand over the dime, buddy. Come on, hand it over. Don't make this hard on yourself. Wait a minute. This gumball machine takes quarters, not dimes. Holy crap, it's a setup! Time to make a quick getaway. You were set up too, huh? Yeah. You realize that kid is plowing both our wives right now.
I'm glad everything is back to average. Yes, it's happy to be back home. I too am gleeful. You are improper. Your hair is like hay. A horse would eat it. Go into the wood burning oven. <sighs> I miss our stolen son in America. Do you think he remembers us? Wooden shoe? <laughs> Man, Dutch TV is probably not that great, we assume. Previously on Family Guy. Dad's working for the Trump White House? Uh, hey, Stewie, can we do that again? Maybe a little more energy? Uh, no. I, I think we can use it. Oh, yay, that's awesome. Wow, Stewie, that was beautiful. Did you write that? No, but can you tell me who did? Log on now. All right, let's tally up those responses. Wow. You know who that is? You know who Thornton Mellon... First of all, it was Henry David Thoreau. But do you know who Thornton Mellon is? That was Rodney Dangerfield's character in Back to School. You feel good about yourselves? Huh? This is why the other countries are beating us, you know. So, you know, you've got only yourself to blame next time you go to the vet and complain that that Indian doctor is too rough with your cat. I took your father's mixtape and hucked it into the ocean. Right then and there, I vowed I would never see him again. <laughs> she said wood. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> wood! Wood! <laughs> You're right. Wood! <laughs> American Johnny! Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. Oh, right, right, let's go. We're never gonna get up there. I wonder what's causing all this traffic. Oh, boy. Yep, there's the problem. Not drawn yet. Come on, guys. Really? Let's go. What the hell's going on up there? Well, it's become clear. The only way to avert this disaster is by writing a strongly worded letter to the black hole. Dear Space... Well, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? You think you're so good because you went to Choate. Well, you're not going to be so tough when I put a fishbowl on my head and a rocket pack on my back and come up there and punch you. Take that, Orion! That's right. All you are is a failed production company. Peter, this is the site of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Oh, so Saddam Hussein did this? No. The Iraqi army? No. Some guys from Iraq? No. That one lady who visited Iraq that one time? No, Peter, Iraq had nothing to do with this. It was a bunch of Saudi Arabians, Lebanese, and Egyptians financed by a Saudi Arabian guy living in Afghanistan and sheltered by Pakistanis. So you're saying we need to invade Iran? Gee. Oh my god, my old harmonica! I'm going to play this really loud tonight to get back at our Armenian neighbors. Hey, hey, looks like a fun party. Um, hey, listen, it's two in the morning. Uh, when is your five-year-old going to go to sleep? Soon, very soon. You want weird food wrapped in weird leaves? Yeah, look, I'm guessing there's some kind of soccer match from your home country going on, and I get that, I do, but uh, some of us are trying to sleep. And I could almost deal with the noise, but it's the cologne. All right, I can smell it in my bed, and I live two houses from here. That's how powerful it is. Okay? That's how powerful it is. You like it? Yeah, I kind of like it. Boy, Connie must really mean business. Like an Armenian kid in a candy store. Hey, little boy, can I help you? Yes, I wish to buy business and turn into car wash. 
And now back to the Fox News Report with Rhonda Latimer. Oh, God, that new Fox News reporter is so freaking hot. Good evening. I'm Rhonda Latimer for Fox News. Here are tonight's top stories. Oh, she is just so smoking hot. God, I would do things to her that she would probably laugh at. You bitch! You know, kids, there's a lot of history here. These 50s diners were very popular in the 80s. Boy, am I going to enjoy this meal. Not like last night when I didn't have time to poop before the guests arrived. Do I have time? You know what? I'm going to go for it. Son of a bitch! Looks like I'm going to have to pile dinner on top of that. Hey, guys, how are ya? I missed that too, Mom, but we'll manage somehow. We're still a family, right? Yeah. I mean, we're tighter than an Asian family. You doctor yet? No, Dad, I'm 12. Talk to me when you doctor! You know, most of the world's problems stem from poor self-image. <laughs> All this singing is contagious. I'll sing, too. Adam West, Adam West. A little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West. Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. You're kidding, I do that too. But what are these formulas for? For these. Oh my god, you've got a weapons room too? And look at the size of it, it's amazing! Yes, although sometimes I think it's too big. It takes the cleaning woman forever to clean it. <laughs> oh, that's already broken. All right, here's your Mike and Ikes with all the Ikes taken out. I hope you were careful, because I swear to God, if I find one Ike in there, I am going straight to Babs. It's fine, I double-checked. Here's your Mike's. What's next? Next, I want you to fly to France and tell French people that a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. <clears throat> people of France, a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. Well, this is where Meg was staying. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. Oh. <laughs> it seems the happy-go-lucky toy company of Quahog, Rhode Island, has released several highly unsafe toy products into the retail market. Come on, Timmy, throw the silly ball! Oh boy, a pound poochie! Come on, baby Heimlich, spit it out! What are they all doing here? The canal. She is finished. What canal? Think, senor. What is your new favorite song? Panama? See, si, it is the Panama Canal. Your president, Woodrow Wilson, is giving the dedication right now. Ah, you reach down between my legs. Ease the seat back. Got the feeling. Power steering. Pistons popping. Ain't no stopping now. Panama? Yeah! 